Okay, it's time for Quest for Semi-Glory, back to 2064, read-only memories. I gotta say, since we left, when, since we left off last time, I've really been looking forward to getting back to it. Like, super hardcore. Because I like this game, it's very fun, it's very chill. Um, so what, what did we just do? Oh, that's right, we just talked to Jess, we just got a mission to go break up the protest somewhere. Like, how the fuck are we gonna do that? I mean, I'm just a normal dude, I guess. How the fuck are we gonna manage to do this? All right, well, I suppose let's we should get out of here. We should go somewhere. Let's go, let's go somewhere else. You know what? Let's go back. Let's go back home. Let's go talk to the plant. Let's kind of take stock. Take stock of what we need to do. Let's take a look around. Everything looks about the same. Oh no, it looks like the plant is actually growing. Not to water anymore, just leave it be and send it good vibes. It'll be okay. All right, we can do that. Can we talk to it? Let's talk to the plant again. Why not? Didn't mean to give you a drinking problem. Glad to see your health here. Oh my goodness. I think Wilty will survive just yet. <laughs> Super good. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so what do we got? What do we got? We've got a gun. We've got a business card. I don't think I ever looked at the business card, did I? Dr. Yannick Fairlight's contact information is on the front. Well, what about the back? Well, let's look at the gun. Did I look at the gun? Self-defense only. Lexi's orders. Lol. Hey, game over. How you doing? And the rest... I, let's look at the spoiled milk again. Really starting to show its age. <laughs> well, I've had it for what? Three days? Three days plus however many days it was already past its prime? Let's, let's have a look around. Let's see if anything's changed. I think anything inside immediately halves its shelf life. Lol. <laughs> That's not a very good fridge, then. Let's take a look inside. Mustard saddle, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that hasn't changed. I don't want to sleep. Let me talk to it. I feel as silly talking to this if it had a portrait printed on the sheets. Eww. Nope. Or the pillow. No, that just gets weird. <laughs> All right. They're a little self-aware. I like that. I like that. All right, let's talk to Turing here. Hi. Uh, hello? No, nope, that's it, huh? Just saying hello? Okay. That's fine. Um, let's go see if we can, uh, break up the protests. Yeah, let's, let's go see if we can, what, what, what can we do? What can we do? All right, so we know Jess is at the Stardust Club. We could go talk to Lexi. And uh, let's head to, let's head to Market Street, I guess. Let's go. Let's see what we got. What's well, going on here? are the protesters. Yep. So they are. I have to admit that I still find the vandalism of Hayden's apartment puzzling. Yeah, you and me both, Turing. The protests themselves have been entirely peaceful so far. Which lends credence to our theory that it was a misdirection. And the human revolution, regardless of the flimsy philosophical ground they stand on, <laughs> are not a group known for projecting their ideology through unlawful means. Okay. <laughs> the more I research them, the more I have to admit uh, then, then. to the statistical conclusion that we're either dealing with a deceptive covert operation uh, scenario, ding, 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 ding. or less likely, a radical splinter group. Well, I don't know if it's less likely. Might be about equally likely, I would say, but Still, whatever. Still, I doubt it will hurt to ask around. Brian Mulberry is there in the center. I'm guessing that's this dude here. Fairlight said he was the one to talk to, and my mesh searches confirm that he is the leader of the local chapter of the Human Revolution Organization. Alright, so he's the dude we gotta talk some sense into to get this crap to stop, huh? He's a bit player on the national scene, but he seems charismatic and camera conscious from the video clips I've reviewed. Camera conscious, huh? Okay. Perhaps we could use that to our advantage? Maybe. What are you suggesting, Turin? What are you suggesting? Let's let's have a look around. Hassy bar. All drinks are made with Hassy, an energy drink that supposedly has recovering properties. Oh, good. I'm so glad they have homeopathy in the year of our Lord 2064 still. Awesome. Let's look at the genus sign here. Leading gene therapy clinics in the city. Blah 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 blah. Let's look at this. NSFPD20 is just here to keep the peace. Let's talk to it. Here to ensure the protests remain peaceful. Doing a bang up job there, NSFPD20. Doing good work. 
All right, let's just take a look around. Only a sign, one half and stay pure. Well, duh. I don't want to talk to these guys yet. I want the human revolution protesters. How about you? Seem passionate and diligent despite how long they've been out here. Well, I don't know how long they've been out here, so that would be good info to have. Who would want to spend their holiday season doing this? Yeah, that's a good question. Nobody really wants to protest, but sometimes it's just uh, it's necessary. All right, crowd of protesters. Oh, oh, they've got a silhouette behind them. Okay, group of protesters in front of the genus clinic looks more like more than a couple people. Yeah, no doubt. All right, let's talk to what is his name? Brian Mulberry. Hello there. Would you like to hear about the dangers of our country's unchecked use of genetic modification? I've got to admit, that is not the voice I expected, but okay. Um, I have pamphlets. Here, take one. Uh, sh Sure. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. So how, how do we play this? Do we, do, we, do we play the I know a friend of yours angle? Or do we play the I'm press, you some bitch, be nice angle? Hmm. Let's go with the Fairlight angle. Oh, yes. Yannick called and said something about an investigation into an apartment break in? Yeah, <sighs> something like that, bro. He didn't elaborate, and I'm not sure how I might be able to assist with this. Well, why don't we just talk a little bit here, Brian, and we'll see what's going on. But if Yannick is involved, I'll do whatever I can. All right, cool. All right, I like your style so far. How can I help? We found human revolution. Oh, for geez, Turin going right in, apartment. super direct. And some things were stolen. Oh, boy. I was hoping you might be able to point us in the direction of whoever did it. Oh, boy. Ah, well, the human revolution certainly does not condone such actions at all. Of course you don't. We're a peaceful organization. Of and course you are. And people is not going to earn us hearts and minds. Yeah, that's certainly true. No, you know what's up. But... But... Uh-oh, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like the butt at the end. Off the record. And Some I am a fan of butts. Can be a bit overzealous. As Younger any members. Hot -headed teenager yeah, okay. tends to be. Okay. All right. I'll look into this matter personally. And if I <laughs> discover that any personally. of our younger members were involved, uh -oh. they'll be turned into the proper authorities. Hmm. I don't know. I'll also let Yannick know anything I find out. Okay, that seems pretty reasonable. Is there something else I can help you with? Yes, you can uh you can get the fuck out of here. I've gotta I've gotta make Jess like me. You gotta break this up. <clears throat> Could I ask you some questions? Sure. What why questions not? can I answer for you? What are you doing out here? Uh, what are the, all right, all right let's, let's take it from the top here. What are the ultimate goals? We hope to educate the public about the dangers of rapid technological advancements. Okay. We want to warn the country away from thoughtlessly accepting every scientific discovery we make before it's too late. Hmm. Okay, that seems actually really reasonable. We used to say that splitting the atom would surely bring about the end of humankind. Well, it very nearly has many times but now we're changing the very things that make us human our biology with nothing to ensure our safety well yeah i guess that's true the revolution we're after is humanity as a whole making the decision to remain as we were created and return to how we lived before genetic science put us on the wrong course well I don't know, man. Wrong course seems awfully subjective at this point, but I, I will continue this to listen. This world is Icarus, flying too close to the sun. It's only a matter of time before our arrogance becomes our demise. What? Are you saying scientific hubris has a hand in this? Say it ain't so, Brian. Say it ain't Just so. Just because we can doesn't mean we should. True enough, I suppose. Um, why protest here? Genetic modification is one of the most dangerous sciences we've ever fooled around with. It's playing God on the highest order and threatens uh, to unseat what humanity is altogether. Uh, I don't know. 
Cybernetics is a dangerous path as well, selling off pieces of ourselves bit by bit for mechanical strength and resilience. But at least a brain-controlled android is still a human brain, even if in a metal box. Yes, that's true, but cybernetics is also badass, counterpoint. There is a reason Congress enacted laws prohibiting highly modified hybrids from breeding. Uh, not sure if I agree with that yet, but let's go on. Now, I do not fault the individuals who come here for treatment, many of whom are disabled and deathly ill. Okay. If you ask me, genus isn't the kind of therapy they all need. Oh, and you, Mr. Science Man, what sort of therapy do you think they need? However, oh, you're we not must gonna tell take me. a stand against the medical research industry that would have us cast aside our humanity for their miracles. <laughs> okay. Alright, how do you plan on doing that? At our core, we are a peaceful movement and seek only to convince people to vote according to the truths we reveal to them. So you're going to act as a gatekeeper to the truth, huh? I don't know. Kind of 50-50 on this dude so far. American democracy will win out in the end. <laughs> Brian, let me tell you about the year 2017 and American democracy. <laughs> it falls to us to make oh, sure boy. that people are informed about the daunting and confusing oh, technologies dear. they put their senseless faith into every day. Senseless faith? Well... Hmm. On a personal level, we would like to exhort every individual to try and live more simply, and reject any gadget or medicine that would make us less than we are. Well, that's all very subjective as well. Whatever. Is there something else I can help you with? Yeah, you can move the fuck along, please. Well... Well, it doesn't give me an option to ask him to move. Of course! If you have any other questions, feel free to come back. I always have time for the press. Do you now? Probably should have selected the- Oh, Jesus, what is you this? You clearly missed doing real journalism. I'm impressed. What? 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 <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Okay, all right. I think you're starting to get back into the hard-boiled investigative journalist thing. Hard-boiled? I was very pleasant and talkative with him. I wasn't like, uh, you know, whatever, Turing, you wouldn't understand. Hopefully we'll get lucky enough to turn up a new lead, even if this one didn't pan out like we'd hoped. He said he would keep an eye out for us. And we've got, let's see, we've got Fairlight, we've got this dude, we've got Lexi, Tomcat to a certain extent, and we're working on Jess. So we got like four and a half people helping us out so far. I'd say that's pretty good. What do you think about what he said? I think he was considerably less deluded than my searches on the mesh net had led me to believe. Ah, eh, well, charisma will do that to you sometimes. And don't forget, we're still here to actually break up these protests. Yeah, I know, Turing. Let's see if we can't figure out a solution together. What is this thing here? This has kind of caught my eye immediately. I'm just like, what the fuck is this bouncing little thing? Make sure to look around and think carefully. I'm sure we'll find something. Think carefully. That is code for make sure you save your fucking game before you do anything rash. All right, we'll save it here. Move. I'll understand that later, I'm sure. Okay, what do we got? A weather rom. That's a, oh my goodness. I was like wondering if that was a dude's like big ass Dr. Wily hair in there or something, but I guess not. It's a, it's a robot with a face. Let's see what we got here. Interesting. A RSU climate control ROM model 6703, if I am not mistaken. May as well call it a T-1000. Apparently it is owned by the Hassie Bar based on this identification marker. Okay. Let's uh, let's get let's, let's give it a talk. Let's actually let's use the milk on it. Am I prepared to be responsible for creating a new kind of tropical storm? One with spoiled milk for rain. If it'll move those protesters, you know, I'll I'll try anything. All right, let's talk to it. Let's not. Two's company. Three's a cloud. <laughs> oh boy. Come on, Turing. Come on. Why you gotta do that? Let's talk to it. 
Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. It's like, oh my god. Let's just talk to it. Let's not. Oh come something. on. All right, fine. All right, let's use it. This kind of ROM requires an RFID key to access it. It appears to be owned by the nearby Hassi Bar. Okay, well, I guess that's where we're going, huh? Let's take a look around first. Hassi only just released the new Hassi Hot Cup. A disgusting combination of hot cup, instant ramen, and ha Ew! Ew! Why, why would you use hot energy drink in ramen? That sounds disgusting. Oh no, the future 2064 is not looking so great. Ew. <laughs> oh, yuck. All right, let's go in. All right, let's see if we can just take a look around. Mostly empty besides all those protesters, of course. Look at the tree. Perfectly spaced, every decoration is placed meticulously. And there's a reasonable but not oversized pile of non-denominational holiday gifts below, right? All right, let's use the milk. I can't, why can't I use the milk in here? Oh, that's dumb. Can I use the gun? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't use the gun. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see you. All right, let's uh, touch it. Pure Christmas spirit, oh boy. Yeah, I'm sure. Look at the table. It's a compu table, good for playing games and reading feeds while sipping a hassy. All right, let's use it. <clears throat> Your own interface window appears. All right, well, what can I do with it? Can I use the milk on there? Let's use the gun on it. Really shouldn't be allowed to carry that. Let's use the gun on the tree. Why are you shooting at inanimate objects? Cause it's fun. That's what games are about. Oh, nice. They got a duck game poster on here. That's fucking great. <clears throat> a traditional video game, but has recently become a popular VR sport. <laughs> Ha! Ha! Shout out to Duck Game. That's funny. I like that. Alright, look at it. Another VR poster. A business drama called Tomorrow's Tears. Oh boy. I, you know, I'm sure people are into drama and shit, but that's not, it's not my thing. What else we got? Movie poster. What are the movies like in 2064? Documentary exploring the queer side of virtual reality. Okay, alright. Fair enough. Let's talk to this person. I really do like a good sassy hassy. Hassy hot is also oh good. <laughs> All right, we got a plant, self-contained plant. Ew, I don't know how I feel about feeding plants energy drinks. That seems like a bad idea. Look at the counter. It's so clean, it shines. It almost looks like it's emitting its own light. It probably is with all the LEDs behind the glass. Use the counter. See the different Hassie through the glass, but you can't reach in and grab one. Only the Hassie Rom can. All right, let's let's talk to the human first. Nothing against uh, not nothing against the, the, the Roms, but I want to talk to a human first. Oh, she owns the bar. Aww, All right. that is the most adorable little Rom. Uh, thanks. What kind of model is it? Where did you get it? Uh, both questions I cannot answer. <laughs> It's so moe. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, oh boy, they are taking this pretty hard. Okay, that's fine. Um, that's a custom model. Oh wow, you don't see a whole lot of those around. No, probably not. Must have taken ages to get that case looking that good with the home printer too. Uh, yeah. That's exactly what I did. I printed it. I'm impressed. Uh, thank you. Anyway, what can I get you? Um, yeah, uh, maybe some information. A drink I can do, and I guess I have some time to talk. Yeah, while well, you're not doing anything else. Bump, bump, the bump, protesters bump. outside the clinic are driving off a lot of my regular customers. That's a shame. It really is when people don't come down to the bar that serves energy drinks exclusively. So is my understanding. Filling up my bathroom too, jerks. <laughs> Are they at least paying? Don't you have a little like policy sign that says bathroom for paying customers only? So, what do you want to know? Uh, well. Again, from the top, from the top. Tell me about yourself. Oh, 
I never introduced myself, did I? No, everybody I'm in the Lily. future is terrible at introducing themselves. Fucking hell. Ramona, okay, that's a good, that's a solid name. I guess there isn't much to tell. Well, you got your name out of the way, so that's something. Come on, you gotta give me, to give college, me something. got a okay. degree, took okay. out a loan and bought this place. Okay, where, what degree, and how much? Follow-up questions. Now I spend my days trying to find enough time and money to sustain my VR drama addiction. Okay, that explains a few things. My priorities are justice, cute stuff, and magical girls, in that order. <laughs> You know, we are in Neo San Francisco, presumably Neo California. This is understandable. This is like this isn't too off this isn't too far off the mark, to be honest with you. What else? Justice. I pretty much don't leave the store. In, oh my god. Alright, you don't leave the store. Do you live upstairs? You don't seem pleased about human revolution. Look, they've got the right to protest. But I don't have to like it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Everybody's got their own opinion. They do have the right to protest. Once they're done with the hybrids, I know they'll be coming for me next. Um. Why? So I could use I'll my be imagination. Voting appropriately. Never mind. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Okay. And if I have to unclog one more toilet because I'm an entitled bigoted jerk face. I will lose my goddamn mind! Holy shit, Ramona, settle down. Have a hassy. <laughs> Why would they come after you? Exactly, oh, that's what you I was thinking. can't tell? I've got a cybernetic arm and leg, thanks to an auto cap crash when I was a kid. I also got neural links for VR interfacing. All right. I guess I can understand why, but according to Brian Dude outside, I don't think they would come after you, but whatever. If it was up to those dinosaurs, I'd be stuck in a wheelchair right now. Or worse, depending on how far back they want to push our medical technology. <laughs> True enough. True enough. It's already illegal for me to have a rocket-powered fist. What more do they want? Well, it's only illegal if other people find out about it. Uh, set your climate control ROM outside. It does a good job, huh? Yeah, that's mine. Can I borrow your access card for it? Well, technically, it's property of Hassie Holdings. Again, can I borrow your access card for we it? We spent some mints on it, but the rest of the block helps pitch in for maintenance costs since I usually set it to patrol the whole area. Eh? You should check it out when we do Christmas in July. Yeah, I'll be sure to do that. How about we just do Christmas in December, since it's December 21st? It can cover the whole street in snow, as long as it's cloudy enough to keep the sun off. Sort of like today. Gee, hint, hint. <laughs> uh, would you mind if I took it for a spin? Sorry, but that thing cost me way too many credits to let just anyone poke at it. Oh, come on. Ramona, I asked you about your life story. You know, why don't you return the favor a little bit? I would right. need to see some serious credentials before I let you mess with it. Hmm. I do have Dr. Fairlight's car. Hmm. You know, enough to make sure you can afford to replace it if you break it. <laughs> okay, I've got Otherwise, ideas. I've got ideas. No touching. <clears throat> uh, you called Turing Moe. Sorry. Otaku speak. <laughs> They're hitting the otaku pretty hard in this. First, Jess is just calling him out super hard, and now Ramona's apologizing for speaking I like just one. He's really cute and lovable, and you kind of want to hug him forever, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. I appreciate the sentiment, if not the actual meaning. A lot of otaku come around here, probably because I own the place. I'm used to being able to shoot my mouth off and not explain all the jargon. Well, it, it, whatever. I'm asking about it. That means I'm interested, right? As in Japanese cartoons? Yeah. I know it's a bit out of fashion, but I'm a history buff. Is it? 47 years later, Japanimation, I'm sorry, anime is no longer the in thing? My goodness. The past really gives context to stories of the present. You know what I mean? Yeah, that I can actually agree with. I've been to Tokyo twice already. 
<laughs> the old otaku resists the new culture of the saishi in the same way their parents refuse to give up cassette tapes. Okay, can you explain Saishi, please? That I'm not familiar with. Thank you! Yes! Oh, All right. Sorry. Yes, the yes. Saiba Shibito. The Cyber Dead. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, now you're just fucking with me. Is that a real thing? The Cyber the Dead. Oh my century, goodness. Japan had an epidemic of chronic shut ins, and the rise of direct link virtual reality only made that worse. Huh? Okay, I can understand that. Suddenly, people weren't just refusing to leave their rooms, they were refusing to leave their heads! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, this movie's the about that. the got better, the Saishi were the first to figure out how to use their own brains to sculpt cyberspace. Okay, yeah, that's pretty rad. Computers are good at thinking in straight lines, but the human brain is capable of so much more. Hmm, that sounds very familiar, doesn't it? I think we heard a little bit about that in the first session. The best virtual landscapes, the most real VR dramas and games, are created by the Saishi. What was it? The Cyber Undead or something like that? That's ridiculous. That's now, ridiculous. even if an earthquake or a meteor or whatever <clears throat> leveled Japan, they still have Neo Tokyo built on the VR net. Yeah, probably. But enough babbling. If you're interested, I'm sure you could find more out on the mesh, or use an induction helmet to visit Neo Tokyo yourself. Oh, I'll have to think about that after we find my it's missing friend. Especially for newbies. <laughs> okay, uh... I bet if I ask her again, she'll say the same thing. Sorry, but that thing... Yeah. I would need to see some... Serious credentials. You know, Got it. Enough to... Yeah. Otherwise... Okay, no touching. No touching. Okay, I think that's everything for now. Okay. Enjoy your drink, and let me know if you need anything else. Uh, you never gave me a drink, actually. We just kind of shot the shit about the Saishi. Alright. Oh, hey, I got my spoiled milk back. Oh, wait. Uh, let's use... I am Dr. Fairlight whatever whatever. Dr. Yannick Fairlight. There we go. That's what I meant. I've heard of him. I am super rich guy used to own system one. I I am I am he. Why are you giving me his card? I I am he. Oh, okay. Well, this this is also this is probably better actually. It's not a straight up lie. I work for him. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's a straight up lie, but it's half true. He's getting on in years, and it would be useful for when he goes out and about. That's why we wanted to see it before. Yeah, there you go, Turing. Ah, you're, you're picking up what I'm putting down. Need a close look at it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, Ramona. On our side. I guess you can take a peek. Excellent. Don't bust it, though. Hey, that's all right. We're just going to, like, build a huge-ass snowstorm or rain or whatever. I scanned this card. And I swear, if you break my ROM, I'll be calling your boss. Yeah, you do that. You do that. Here's the RFID key to access it. Hell Thank yeah! You. This will surely be useful for our needs. <laughs> being as vague as possible while still being truthful. Shall All right. we go check it out? I'm starting to like you. Shall we go check it out? We shall, after we get a drink, I guess. Winter Fresh Hassy, yum. Well, that do I have it? Oh, I, b I bought it, but I didn't get it? What kind of garbage is that? All right, let's look at this brochure, actually. What was it say? Propaganda. <laughs> they really could have used better paper stock, and they probably could have spell-checked it, and they probably could have, you know, whatever. <laughs> awesome. It doesn't even fucking read it. I like that. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, what do we have? We have... I wonder if I could have just zapped it, to be honest with you. All right, I, I don't want to fuck this up, so let's let's save again. I'm getting a little nervous here, so let's, let's save it one more time. Save. Yes. Um. Making it rain. Bam. Well, I presume I'm going to make it rain. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to make it snow instead. 
All right, let's let's use it. Hmm, this ROM has multiple different climate control settings. Yeah. Maybe we could make things a little more festive. Christmas is my favorite season. Oh, is it now? Uh, well, what do we got? Should I switch it to snow mode? Uh, dang it. Well, you're not even gonna give me a, an option like Sahara Desert or something like that. Damn it. All right. No, let's not mess with it right now. Let's, let's take a look around first. Open sign. Another favorite local spot, the blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Also an open sign, I guess. What else we got? Hot cup sign. Use it. No <laughs> ramen is that instant. Try inside. Ooh, tower. I has been around so long. Sutra Tower is still very useful as a powerful broadcasting antenna for high speed data. Awesome. Wow, why did the music all change? That's awesome. All right, let's use the headphones, I guess. Out of range, but the soothing hum you hear while staring at the out of the column view speaks louder in the end. Aww. Uh, is there anything else? Any other hot spots? Well, let's, let's look around a little bit. I, I, I dig the chill sax going on there. Oh, there's another there's another space here. Whoa, hello. A brick. A brick. Off-color brick stuck in the wall. Let's take that brick. Just in case. You never know. Loose brick wobbles. What the fuck's going on here? Loose brick wobbles as you palm the wall. Alright. Let's touch it again. Hmm. Do you think it would be okay to take that? Well, I don't think anybody's gonna mind. Pull the brick out. Yeah, might come in handy. Thick and heavy. She can carry it around and maybe find a use for it. Alright. Let's take a brick. <laughs> Look at the Muni Stout, it's a way of shelter so the Muni Riders can keep out of the rain, okay. Anything else we can look at here? Vigi Billboard? I guess we had advertisements for a few different things, such as the news, commercial for the VR drama, Tomorrow's Tears, oh boy. Yeah, that's gotta be it. <laughs> Alright, anything else? No? Alright. Okay, let's go make it rain or snow or whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah, Turing, you already gave me your spiel. Should I switch it to snow mode? Yeah, please, yeah, let's do it. It is trying its darndest to make it snow. Oh, hey, look at that. It's snowing? Yeah, it's December. What the fuck else would it do? Okay, people, I for one didn't bring any winter wear. Let's call it a day for now. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. We did it. Now Jess has got to like us. Snow mode deactivated. Excellent work. Damn, we did it with a minimum of force. While I still have doubts about the moral superiority of using subterfuge to disperse a protest, we at least accomplished our goal peacefully. That's right. I bet I probably could have used the brick or the gun. Would have been a bad idea. Would not have, would not have helped. Frank, considering how the human revolution is clearly working against my personal interests, <laughs> I won't waste many clock cycles puzzling that ethical quandary out. <laughs> wow, Turing, you getting sassy. You getting super hmm. sassy. Might I draw your attention to those youths over yonder? Uh, maybe those are youths? Counterculture sure. clothing obvious bad attitudes, and graffiti paraphernalia. Oh dear. Those could be our suspects who damaged my home in the name of revolution. Wow, Turing, uh, you're making a lot of assumptions here. <laughs> oh, that's sassy. Uh, couldn't hurt to check it out. Right. We should approach them cautiously as to not start a confrontation with the wrong individuals. Yeah, that's, I guess that's correct. They may even point us to the true culprits. <clears throat> or they could be just sassy ass teenagers. Do you think of that? Think of that, oh, Turing? They've noticed our attentions. Come along. Maybe we can catch them. It's just, no, no, let's not, fr let's not freak them out. What are you fucking? Oh, goodness me. We'll never catch them on foot. Crap. 
Hold on. I'm calling for an auto cab of our own. <laughs> oh no, follow that cab, really? I know it seems a great deal of trouble for such a tenuous lead, but I have a hunch about them. A hunch, huh? Robot has a hunch. Okay. The wicked flee when no man pursueth. <laughs> All right. It got uh, me there. The auto cab is estimated to take five minutes to arrive. Okay. Can you hack their cab? We'll never be able to engage in pursuit fast enough to catch up to them. Perhaps we should call Tomcat. Uh. <sighs> sure. Maybe they can do some bit of techno wizardry and stop that cab. <laughs> techno wizardry. Oh boy. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Excellent. Well, ringtones haven't changed much. Hold on while I connect us. Howdy, folks. Jesus, voice quality hasn't changed much either in 47 years. Fuck me. How's the search for the data cache going? Uh, it's it's going. Can you uh, crash a cab for us? Actually, that's what we're calling about, Tomcat. Uh oh, Turing, are you are you spinning another lie? We may have located the perfect. No, don't! Oh my God, you are jumping to a lot of conclusions. Making a lot of conclusions here. I don't like that. We attempted to use a cab of our own to tail them, but it hasn't arrived, and they're getting away. Can you hack the cab and stop it? <sighs> no can do, little guy. Yeah, exactly. See, this is what I said. Security on those cabs is tight, and the dang thing will shut down its external net connection long before I get in. Yeah, true enough. Okay. Unless. <laughs> There's always a catch. All right. What do you need? What do you need us oh, to do? I have an idea. Ah. Tap for just a sec. <laughs> goo, goo. All right. Ticka ticka tap 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 Ticka ticka tap tap dot dot dot. All right. I went faster than spit on a skillet. How fast does spit go on a skillet? I did a job a few years back and had to break into the city's central traffic network. Do me a favor and don't ask why. Uh, red lights all from here to The back Kansas, door I right? drilled into that long ago is still wide open. <laughs> I'm logging into the traffic management system now. <laughs> Wait. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's not what you want to hear. Oh, shit. What? It may not have fixed that back door, but they did install a new counter intrusion VI. Yeah, so? Oh, the damn thing is hot on my tail. You sound pretty calm about it, considering. <laughs> All right, let's just cut to the chase. What can we do? What can we do? I gotta take care of this VI. I'm gonna need the two of you to handle the traffic system. Turn, I'm passing control to you. Uh, okay. Hold tight. I'm gonna be doing some two sets of hands on one keyboard kind of hacking. All right. All Just right. push on the map and loading up on Turin's face. Sorry, <laughs> Turin. <laughs> hey, can fucking do. Turing, don't mind this. Don't mind my fist. Oh my god, what are we doing? They're on the move. Yeah, what are we doing? Here's how it works. Yeah, okay, Use tell me, please. Map to keep track of their cab and redirect it back to you. Okay. You can trigger traffic nodes at intersections so the cab thinks the streets are blocked off. Uh, do it right, uh, and you should be able to steer them right back to you. Okay, we can do this. You just gotta make sure to stop them where you're at, or else they'll just go running off on foot. I'll put a goal marker on the map for you. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Thank you. You can trigger any node on the map at any time, so plan ahead. All right. I'd say you'll have time for two moves every time they hit an intersection. If they go off the map, though, you'll lose them. Two moves. Got it. Block every road that leads out of our grid, and watch the places with three exits you can't all cover in one go around. Ah, uh, I, I see. I see what you're doing here. I see what you're doing. Just hurry. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to keep this V out from messing on the carpet, and once I kill the connection, this old trick is over. I'll tap into the cab control node they're currently arriving at. Okay. Okay, I think, I think I've got this. Cannot leave the area Tomcat's given us access to. I'll mark the southern exit as closed first. Okay, you do that. 
only have time to block off two routes before the auto cab will make a decision and move. Oh, okay. So every time they stop. All right, I get you. We shouldn't block the route back here. We have to well, stop them where we can catch them. No, duh. <laughs> God, Turing, really. Once you get them back here, press the big button on top of the map to short wire the auto cab. Okay, short circuit. Okay, I got you. I get you. Be careful. If you stop their ride anywhere else, they'll just run off. Yeah, okay, I get it. All right, I, I got you. What do you think our next move should be? How about we do... Oh, I don't get free control over this? What kind of garbage is this? Ah. Uh, let's see. Northeast. Well, I'd much rather kind of circuit them around here. So we get more time to deal with it. So let's not... Let's block them to the north. Turn, I can't have you talking. It's messing with the signal. Okay, good. Thank it's you. It's up to you now. All right, it's up to me now. Don't let those punks escape, and don't trap them anywhere that's not here. Yeah, I know. Thank you. My goodness. We can access any of the control nodes in the area at any time. Plan ahead, and we should be able to get them. Yeah, okay. I get it. I Got get it. it. Yes, I do. Please. 15th and Guerrero. Block that one, and block that one. Er, block that one, and block that one. Okay. All right, that, we'll block that one. We'll go up here and we'll block this one. Yeah, they are fucked. They are fucked, I'm planning ahead. Block that one. Oh, no, what the, that's, please. Okay, just wait for it to, to, to click off, whatever. All right, let's go to what's Clinton and Dolores. All right, let's block that one. All right, all right, all right. Now let's go over here. Let's let's do some business here. I think I think we'll have just enough time for this. So let's block that one, and we'll block that one, and then we go back to here, market and church. We block that one. We block that one. Yeah, fuck you. We got it. All right, then we just do this. And this. Oh, they're trying to get smart. They're trying to get smart. This isn't gonna happen. You, he you hear? This ain't gonna happen. So don't go to the north. And you know what? Let's, uh. Hmm. All right, let's do it that way. Aha! Ha ha ha! Success. All right, only one way to go, bitch. Only one way to go, bitch! Oh, I got you, bitch! Stop that, Dark Side! them now. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna go stop them, and then we can interrogate the miscreants. You're really not. Oh my God! All right, fine. Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez! Look at this guy. What the hell do you want? Well, why the fuck did you run? I just wanted to talk to you, little shit. Whatever. Who do you think you're messing with, huh? I'm messing with a dude with triangle hair. Is what it looks like. You ain't got nothing on us, and if you don't get out of my way, I'll mess you up. Oh, will you now? That was a big talk. Hey, what do you think we should do? Let's just talk to him. He's a fucking big ass talker. We doing anything illegal. Yeah. We could potentially make this go over smoothly. Well, fucking let me talk to him or then. We Jesus. Could share news of this encounter with Lexi before things get out of hand. Ugh, <sighs> alright. That's a good point. These two seem agitated already, and it may be best to make sure they're handled by the appropriate authorities. Well, we don't have any proof, so doing that would probably not be the best idea. Those are the options I deduced. Questions or cops? It's up to you. How do you want to do this? This. <sighs> <laughs> Again, they haven't done anything illegal that we can prove, so let's just talk to him for a bit. We just have a few questions for you, sirs. If you'd be so kind as to give us a Turing, few minutes of your time. Turing, you really should let me do that. Oh my god, alright, fine. Whatever. Did fine. you not hear what I... 
maybe we should just answer their questions. Yeah, see? Listen to your dude. Dude, your, your glasses are... You could fix that by just... You know what? Never mind. Nobody notices. It's fine. I mean, we didn't do anything wrong, right? Yeah, no shit. All right, listen to this fella right here. He, he, is, he is speaking the truth, sort of, maybe? Um, right! We ain't got nothing to hide! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, yeah, Ooh, uh, I'm still tough. Thumbs down. <laughs> uh... What's the spray paint for? We're newbie street artists. Likely story. These are the tools of our trade! Hmm. <laughs> Okay, that's sort of legit. These are all above board and legal. Well, <laughs> is spray paint illegal in 2064? Jesus. We just got done making a piece for a client. Oh, is that so? Whereabouts is that? That's right. We're artists. <laughs> <laughs> well, I already know what's in the bag. It's pulling it out there. Why are you making me ask this one? What's in the bag? You a cop? No, oh, I'm not a cop. Cause if you ain't, we ain't got nothing in the bag. Well, it only allowed me to ask that question, so whatever. Why'd you run? There you go, that's running? a good question. Who was I running from? You calling me a coward? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you said it. You said it. Uh, I don't think that's what they were insinuating. Yeah, see, this guy knows what's up. You're wearing a loose ass necktie and you're a teenager. That's weird. But well, whatever, let's we'll go with it. Right! Yeah. We just got places to get to and gotta go fast. <laughs> you're holding us up. Sick Sonic reference, bro. This is ridiculous. Enough! Nope. Stop assuming you can misdirect us with blustery words and feigned ignorance. Turing, let's let the adults let the adult talk to the teens. I've matched the hues of those paints and the patterns of the bottom of your shoes with 95% accuracy to the scene of Hayden Weber's apartment. Now tell us what you were doing there and why you stole Hayden's data cache. Turing, there's a thing called playing things close to the chest. You ain't doing it. Now you're accusing us of stealing? Why I oughta... Nervous dude. Chad, I think they're on to us. Maybe we just answer their questions Chad, and we don't okay. go to the cops? Yeah, well, that's still on the table. Damn it, Oliver. Chad and Oliver. I'm Starfucker now. <laughs> Starfucker, huh? <laughs> Starfucker. Okay. <laughs> Starfucker and Oliver. Okay. I only went along with this because you said we would go to a movie afterwards. Yeah, all right. See, wholesome teen fun going to a movie. I don't even care about this human revolution stuff. Just because your dad... Oh, Oliver, Chad, Dad. Don't talk about my dad. <laughs> Starfucker, I love that. It's Whatever. A, that's his we'll display name. I questions. love it. You damn right you will. Turing. <clears throat> All right, let's let's start simple since Turing kind of spilled everything we were looking for already. Dumbass robot. Why take Hayden's apartment? Oh man, no big reason. Oh really? Yeah. I mean, he's a big hotshot researcher at Parallax, right? Maybe. Who's telling me that? We heard Starbuck. a rumor his place was empty. Who's uh, gonna pass stupid. up a sweet target like that? Um, uh, maybe a sensible person that has nothing to hide. We don't need any more of this tech shit. Like your lippy rom over there. Hey man, I don't control Turing, all right? I'm gonna give it a firm talking to after we're done here. From the top, do you know anything about Hayden's kidnapping? Kidnapped? He's been kidnapped? Wah, 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 you better tell me what you know. Shit, we ain't got nothing to do with that. Yeah. We just sliced the door controls and trashed the place. Wasn't nobody there. Okay, all right. Why'd you take the data cache? I told you we didn't steal nothing. What's in the bag? 
<laughs> Be quiet, Chad. I don't want to go to juvie. Here, you can have it. Yeah, see, Oliver knows what's up. Oliver knows what's up. Okay, well, thanks for giving it back. <clears throat> You're good kids? Well, I don't know. One of these dudes is okay. One of these dudes is a little bit out of his league. Let's let's go reasonable. Give up on vandalizing people's homes. That's not yeah, cool whatever. shit. Yeah, whatever. Just get out of my way. Hey. Uh, no. Chad? Chad. Your name's Chad, right? Yeah, Chad. Lose the attitude, man. I hope you find that Hayden guy. And we're real sorry. We weren't trying to hurt anyone. Okay, that's that's. All right, let's go catch that movie. Great. Can we get dinner first? <laughs> okay. Sure. Whatever you want. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Is this thing blowing its stack here? Uh, that's not right. It's I'm fine. I'm certain I deactivated snow mode. Eh. Incoming call from Tomcat. Yeah, yeah. What, what's the good word here, Southern Bell? Hey, folks. <laughs> Jess just called and told me she has a clear way to the access node. Hell yeah. Jess is on our side. She'll get you inside, and I'll walk you through connecting me so I can access the Parallax network. That should help our hunt. Fuck yeah, Will. Did you get the data cache? We did, mysteriously enough. Some punk ass yes, kids had those it. Those punks happened to have it. <laughs> That's a big ass stretch, let me tell you what, but we'll go with oh, it. Great. We don't have time to worry about it right now though. <laughs> All that work for nothing. Go to Stardust and drop it off with Majid for me, okay? He'll hold it to pass on to me once I get there. Majid is the data cache mule, huh? Alright. I managed to trigger an alert within Parallax's network security, and they're gonna be moving their logs from one secure server to another. Over an unsecured connection, I bet? Because security in 2064 still sucks major ass. I need y'all in place of that access node before they do. No time for lollygagging. No. No problem, Tomcat. We'll make our way there directly after we return to Stardust. No, oh, but is there... The weather bombs malfunction later. Is there any time to go talk to Wilty? Or maybe have a drink? Let's go. Our mission for Jess is done. Yeah, she better fucking like us now. I was a perfect gentleman. I cleared out the protests. Whatever. Well, it's before we do anything. Well, let's, let's have a little, 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 little savey save here. Snow sucks, 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 sucks. It does. I have to deal with it for four months out of the year, and it sucks ass. I don't like it. But whatever. Small price to pay for where I live. Okay, let us go to Stardust then, I guess. We'll drop the shit with Majid. Welcome to Stardust. And we'll get beyond our way, I suppose. There's Majid. We should leave this data cache with him first, like Tomcat asked. <clears throat> well, all right. Here, sorry Majid, no time for chit chat. Would you like a brick as well? Here. All right. Tomcat asked me to take that off your hands and pass it on to them later. Thanks for getting it to me. All right, there you go. Boom, bam, boom, bam. Really wish we could have taken a look at it first, but time is of the essence. I will you about what it is. Ah, see, Majid knows what's up. When you spend some time as a bodyguard, you know when the best time to ask questions is. And this is not one of those times. I know things are always very hush-hush with Tomcat. <laughs> yeah, you know what's I'll up. I'll make sure they get it later today. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. During, be nice and polite. That's a good, this, this is a good robot. Can we go talk to Jess? Is she still here? Ah, oh, come on. Can we go talk to, let's go talk to the monster. You again? Yeah. All right, I'll let you in. Yeah. You better stay out of trouble. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to talk to our BFF, Jess. Don't worry about it. Oh, there she is. All right, hey, Jess. How you doing? Hey. I heard from my friends down the street that the protesters are gone. Yeah, you know who was you, huh? who was responsible for that? Eh? Eh? <laughs> and Turing helped, I guess, but we did it. All right, then. I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt and return the favor. Benefit the of the doubt we did? Uh, you know what? Yes. Okay. Not going to judge. 
not going to judge. Tomcat said that if you got to an old abandoned access node, you might be able to find out what happened to Hayden. Yes, correct. That is what we know for now, I guess. Yeah, well, it's a good thing we went and talked to her, so we figured out where the fuck it is, huh? I called up a buddy who's on night shift for Parallax tonight. He can buzz you in. But if anything happens, you broke in. Hmm. With that attitude, I don't know. I don't know. This puts us at about even. Up. Don't think about drawing any more debits for a while. About even? Oh my goodness. I, you know, I guess that's fair. One, one for one. That's that's fair. Good luck. Thanks. Get me out of your shit. Hey, come on now. We friends. We friends. We're friends. I was like I could go talk to Caitlyn, huh? Since I kind of just ditched her after I got in the VIP area. This is exactly <coughs> what I needed to get my mind off things. Yeah, I hear you, honey. I hear you. Bro, whoa. Let's talk to this fancy character, Broke. I'm ashamed to say I've gone on a few Hassy Spike benders in my time. Hassy Spike, energy drink, and... What else you got for us? I love vintage game experiences. Have you ever heard of Overblood? <laughs> Overblood, huh? Is that perchance any mashup of Overwatch and Bloodborne? <laughs> What else you got for us? You know what I think is a cool name? Dog Starfucker. Oh, Dog's Power. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool too, I guess. What else you got? Do you like wrestling? I can't no. wait for NSFW New Year's Smash. <laughs> the Violent Wings, the Future Foundry. It'll be a real <laughs> slobber knocker. <laughs> It'll be a real slobber knocker, huh? Sick reference, bro. Sick reference. Hey, did you know that I'm in a multicast VR drama with NSFW champion Kiri Giri Soda? Now nah, you're fucking with me. She's the world heavyweight champion. Now nah, you're fucking with me. Turing, can you look that up on the mesh net? Kiri Giri Soda, please. What else you got? I can't wait for the NSFW Wrestle or Get Married show. <laughs> You never know if it's going to be a match or a marriage. <laughs> this dude, this dude is all over the place. Or both. Oh, yeah, of course. Got to throw in the or both. All right, what else you got? I can't wait for the cash and the shifferobe ceremony. What? The fuck's a shifferobe? That can't be a real word. Actually, it probably is. What the hell's a shifferobe? Papa Loti really needs that money. He's a father. Broke, I hate to break it to you, but wrestling... The veracity of wrestling is in question. I'll just say that much, I guess. Did you know that William the Penalty Hayes doesn't believe in dinosaurs? Rumor has it, that's how he got kicked out of the football league. It's offensive. What? What the fuck is this shit? Have you seen Cactus Canary's finishing move? Yeah. The Chico Chico Bang Bang. Oh, maybe not. Different Cactus Canary. Sorry, bro. I wonder who's going to take the speedy road speeding ticket this year. You know, this shit sounds ridiculous, but this is like professional wrestling in a in a nutshell right here. Like I'm so much to garbage. Say I've gone on a few okay, we've, we've, we've hit the loop point here. That's fine. A shiffer robe is a dresser and wardrobe combo. Really? Jesus. I guess it is a real thing, huh? Okay, we probably shouldn't waste any more time here. Even though I'd like to grab another drink. Oops, not the menu. I mean, I wish we had some way to tell time here. I, we could we could go talk to Lexi, right? Let's go talk to Lexi first. That seems like a good idea. We'll, we'll, we'll let her know what's going on with the with the Hayden case. Blah 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 blah. Looking for Detective Lexi Rivers, please. And while you are going to retrieve Lexi, I must but retrieve myself. Oh. 
I must retrieve myself another drink IRL. So I will be back in a minute or two. Let's talk to Lexi. Pro Bear Cub, hey, how you doing? Sorry, I think I missed you sneak in before. My apologies. Detective Rivers. All right, let's go. Be here shortly to speak with me, have a seat, whatever. Click, 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 click. Was there something else you needed? Yeah, I just wanted to... Just wanted to talk to you, tell you we talked to some punks. We got a data cache that you don't need to know about. We uh, hacked into some traffic control shits. We, um, what else did we do? We made it snow twice, once on purpose. Um, what do you need, I guess? Mostly, I just need a break in the case or a way to even start it. Aw, oh, come on. Something I can use instead of the fly-by-night spy crap you're probably digging up. Hey, but come on. It. You might as well work it from both angles. That's right. We've heard Just this already. Easy. Oh, that's it. That's all they're going to give me. <laughs> you be sure to come back if you find something I can use. I I, I did. F I found a lot of shit, but they wouldn't let me tell you about it, apparently. All right. Whatever. You know what? We've got time. Let's go talk to Wilty. We'll go home. Let's talk to Wilty. Talk to Wilty. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Mm, with more of that, we'll surely be on the way to Lush Greenery in no time. Lush Greenery. All right, that's super good. Let's. All right, I guess we should go probably take care of some business. We should probably go to where we Ready were told to, to go out? without delay. All right, let's go to Dog Patch, I guess. Ooh, what the fuck? That's some creepy ass graffiti, I tell you what. Oh, this is, uh... Oh, okay. So it wouldn't have progressed tonight until we went to there anyway. This is Damn the it. place right. Tomcat said we should head to. <clears throat> Looks like a real nice place. Unassuming and quiet. I'll be honest. You're a little creep. I think I would be in this section of the city without Jess giving us the all clear. Well, you know, that's why we did the whole side quest with clearing up that protest there, Turing. The crime Cause? statistics are quite what alarming. Effect? So let us get done with our errand here and move on to safer ground. Hey now, don't judge a place by how it looks, except if it looks like this. <laughs> no, don't be worried. We'll be I fine. I can't help it. We'll be fine. Just shut your yap for a bit. Hurrying? Stealing a ROM is considered petty theft. And I'd really rather not be taken by some miscreants out to pawn me for a minor amount of credits. No, well, if you fucking stop flapping your robo gums, nobody's gonna bother with you. Our hypothetical kidnapper wouldn't even be punished worse than a slap on the wrist if it were a first offense. Ugh. Do I need to get out the duct tape? Please, Turing. Though I suppose I shouldn't get too worked up about the legal system not accounting for machine sapiens. I am the first. Yeah, you be all smug about that no, while you're shutting no your way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, let's take a look around. Litter, let's look at the litter. 
Standard plastic bag level litter. Let's, can we take it? Just in case. <clears throat> it's practically scum welded to the street. Ew. All right, let's look at the art. You know, right after we found Hayden's apartment in such disarray, I started looking into graffiti and street art more thoroughly. Yeah, what'd you find out? It's actually I pretty cool. I have never much considered doing any of it myself, but it seems like an interesting avenue to pursue once I move beyond abstract expressionism. Well, moving to uh, graffiti and street art probably wouldn't be moving too far behind uh, abstract expressionism there, Terry. But, you know, the whatever to each their tags, own. tags, visual <laughs> shoutings of identity and existence. They exhibit a feeling oh, I can smug sympathize ass smile. with. But it's these larger oh pieces, riots of color and chaos, that really interest me. Okay, alright. Petty vandalism is beneath me, but there are <laughs> of other avenues for the practice. <clears throat> for, for, the, for the practice of petty vandalism? For example, did you know that Los Angeles, in the mid-2030s, legalized the tagging of mural-style street art on any building without requiring permission from the owner or city? Really? In the 2030s, huh? That's... You know, not to cast aspersions on the future, but that seems like a bad idea. It was chaos it really at the does. highest degree for a while. Yeah, exactly. But now the place is truly remarkable. Okay, glad as long as it turns out okay in the end, right? Perhaps I will visit once this is all done with. <laughs> wow. Sarcasm level brutal here. Very interested. Yeah, sure. <laughs> the symbol of gonzo journalism, really? Ah, I hadn't even noticed. Yeah, dude, neither did I, apparently. <laughs> Do you have much experience with gonzo journalism yourself? Reporting after or during direct participation? The fuck is gonzo journalism? I'm actually learning things while I'm playing this. If you do end up writing on this experience, whatever you produce would be the very definition of it. You're too close to be objective now, and you're a key subject in this event. <laughs> Thanks, Turing. It I doesn't guess. seem to be your usual style, <clears throat> but you couldn't go another route at this point, and you're in the clear as you didn't instigate the situation. What? What? All right, now I'm getting kind of confused as to what the fuck you're talking about. But all right. Hmm. I've never had much interest in the practice, but spending so much time around you has taught me to look at events in a different light. Perhaps only because I can verify your personal experiences as fact. <laughs> oh boy. Gonzo's that Muppet from Sesame Street. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. There was a Muppet named Gonzo. Turing is getting kind of weird here. Sorry, I'm rambling again, aren't I? Yes, you certainly <sighs> are. Schedule. I don't even want to think about this. Don't worry about it. What I guess we we're fine. find Hayden? Well, don't fucking think about that. You go from thinking about graffiti to thinking about your missing... creator, I guess? What if we do? What, what do you mean, what if we do? That's what we're fucking trying to do. Jesus. My memory processors are shot from the stress of the past day. It's already taken a toll on me. But never mind. Let's find that access node. Let's find Hayden. Yes, all right. So there's there's two upbeat things you said so far, Turin. That's good. Look at the pipe. Pipe is doing what all good pipes should do. Piping out that energy. All right, very good. Look at the generator. Turbo generator out here, just generating energy. Wonder what's using all this extra power. Gee, I can, I gotta, I gotta guess. Gotta guess, an apartment door. Let's take a look at this. Our building, it's not the access node. Well, not the, the. Don't, the access node is next door to this building. That's the wrong place. What do you mean next, oh. What? Well, let's look around for that access node. Door to access node. Okay. All right. Can we use the milk on the street art? Not to face the graffiti. <laughs> ah, top irony. What else can we do? We can we talk to the street art? I'd actually just say something to you, baby. Use it. Oh, it's pretty grimy. Stop touching it. Aw. 
Let's look at it one more time. I've taken a few photos of this piece and other sites we've seen along our journey. I'm going to put together a digital scrapbook of sorts when this is all over. I'm going to show it to Hayden. If we find him. Let's be realistic here. Okay, anything else? Let's look at the fan. Keep the generator cool, or else, you know, it'll break. Use the fan. Needs no service. Can we use the pipe? Can't pull it off the generator, no matter how hard you, hard you try. That sounds like a challenge. Just use the generator. Really solidly built and not easy to get into without smashing them apart. Well, we've got a robo friend. Can it take care of this for us? All right, any other hot spots around here? Just, uh, blah, blah, blah. All right, over to the access node. Let's see what this we got. This is the door to the access node that Tomcat told us about. We need to use the buzzer to get inside. Oh, that's right, because Jess had to contact the night watch, whatever. Let's talk to the door. The guard isn't actually here. You need to press the buzzer on the door to get access. Thank you, Turing. I know. <laughs> I know now. Alex Lock, AN-19 security. Yeah, uh, a friend of Jess is here to see you, I guess. Hello? Yes, can I help you? Yes, you can. You can open the door, please. 23, 12, 49, 10. <laughs> what the fuck? We're our friends of Jess. I was wondering when you'd get there. Hey, come on. We were just having a stroll. We were having a look. We were looking at some art. Give us a break. You're at the access node on Cesar Chavez in Indiana, <laughs> right? Uh, yes? That's right. Good. Be quick. Don't touch anything. Got it? Yeah, sure, mysterious voice. This conversation never happened. And you're on your own if you get caught out there. All right. Yes to the first part. We'll see about the second. I hope you find what you're looking for. So do I, my friend. This is it. Let's go inside and I'll call Tomcat. Use a secured line, please. They're turning. This Very dark. This doesn't look like it's had any maintenance in years. I hope the systems are still functional. It's a... F uh... Oh, Ever. I forgot you can't see in darkness. Yeah, no Maybe shit. Maybe that switch over there adjusts the lighting. Let's hope so. Light switch. Well, it says it's a light switch, so let's use it. There we go. Oh my god. What a mess. Let me guess. It's Tomcat. Oh, Tomcat is pinging us. Forwarding video and audio. Thank you. Howdy. Y'all at the access node? Yeah, good timing there, Tomcat. I'm set to slice in once turn makes physical access. All right, let's, maybe we should read this uh, warning poster first. Just, of just course, a thought. Tomcat. Just walk me through how to connect myself, and I'll give you the necessary system permissions to use me as an interface. Uh, okay, that's. Just uh, patch yourself into the links terminal down there, and works. I should be able to nice. get started. Okay. Connecting wirelessly to it now. No, I just want to look around first, but okay, fine, whatever, it's fine. Permissions let's do it. granted. Root access achieved. Whoops. But please be careful in there. Don't worry, though. I'm an old hand at this. You won't notice a thing. Yeah, well, overconfidence breeds very big mistakes. One sec. Tick a tap 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 dot dot dot. Oh, shoot. Oh. I'll have a bit more to do before I can get the info we need. Okay. Well, what, 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 what you need? still running on old cassettes. And the recall slot is empty. Can't call up Hayden's info file without it. Cassettes? In the year of our Lord 2064, there are still some cassettes out there? Holy shit. There All should right. be a cassette on the opposite side of the wall we can overwrite with the recall program. Uh... Alright, let's Pretty look sure around. Pretty that one was used for was phone monitoring. You know, from back when phone networks were separate from data networks? Well, that would have been before the year of our Lord 2017. I can tell you that much for free. <laughs> I swear, y'all, I just turned 22. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Anyways, we need to move that cassette across the room to access the records. Where the fuck do you see a cassette in all this? I see a weird golden arm. I see some triangles. I see a, a screen with what looks to be a one pixel camera. Figure out how to do that and hit me back up when you've done it. All right, we'll see what we can do here. No checklist. Let's see what we can do. Make sure that everything is running okay. Ah, oh, damn. 
utility arm. Ah, okay. Utility arm. Gotcha. According to this poster, the data cassettes can only be moved by using the links panel to control the utility arm. Okay. Well, I'm glad I read that poster. Tangled wires. Let's take a look at these tangled wires. Sturdy tangled wires lay on the floor. Where are the standards? Hey, man. Don't be insulting tangled wires. They work, okay? <laughs> Maybe not on the floor. Look at the cassettes here. Modern versions of cassettes like these are a tenth the size. Fair enough. What else we got? A single cassette up there. Oh, okay, that's the one, huh? What else we got? Warning label. Ooh, we should read the warning. Area contains high voltage. Probably don't want to be touching shit unnecessarily then. Display screens. What do we got here? Random graphs and diagnostics being tracked. Hanging wires. Oh, that's fucking safe. Loose wires. Be careful. Jesus, Turing, settle down. I'm just looking at him. Fuck. Huh. You know what? We're gonna save. <laughs> we are gonna save. Just in case something goes super wrong. Zappy zaps. Okay. Just in case. You never know. I'm, 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 I'm gonna start treating this like a Sierra Adventure game from now on. Alright, so we need to use the terminal. Give you access to some of the known systems. Z7, I'm sorry, Z77 Gamma. Or Zulu 77 Gamma, depending. <clears throat> hey, Sam, how you doing? Good to see you. Welcome to Lynx. Haha, <laughs> I've used Lynx before. Uh, you know, from the top. Let's access some security records. Authentication needed. God damn it, of course. Biometric reader to log in. Fuck. Alright. Uh,. Abstain. <laughs> Review the maintenance log. God damn it. Why are even the maintenance logs behind security? What is this, 2064? Eh, uh, let's not do that. Operate data transfer arm. Uh, retract arm. Zzz. Turn arm. Zzz. Move arm left. Uh, oh. Extend arm. Retract arm. Oh, uh, uh, wait, what? Retract arm. Uh, turn arm. Move arm right. Uh, extend arm. Yeah, we got it. Hey, what, Tomcat, we said we would ping you when we were done. Were you watching us through that little tiny pixel cam? I'm gonna put some more pressure on them to move the data now, and we'll see if we can't slurp it right out of this network trunk. All right, we'll see what happens here. You would have thought that someone would have noticed and decommissioned this access node when the neighborhood went to hell, but... Hey, you never know when you need a busted-ass access node for something. This mouse is happy to play while the cat is away. <laughs> Those are some good expressions. I like that. Why is this place usable for us anyways? Let's Way find out some info. When I first hacked into Parallax's network, I mostly did it to make a point, yeah? To make a point. All right, what point would that be? They were just about to launch the MeshNet system, and I wanted to show the whole darn world that their security had more holes in it than Swiss cheese. Yeah, and did you succeed? Of course, I wasn't too shy about poking in a few more holes of my own devising while I was there. Been there, sister. After putting in some more tricky software backdoors, I went ahead and deleted this access node off the maintenance schedule. That would explain a few things, wouldn't it? Then I reassigned the guy who was supposed to keep an eye on it to a different location. They were in the process of buying up a whole gaggle of these nodes in preparation to set up a private network for themselves. Hmm. That's very smart. All just to use for the MeshNet launch. Maybe a little too confident of them. Most of the software holes have been patched out as they've upgraded their network, but this old place is just as forgotten as I left it. <laughs> All right, Tomcat, I'm starting to like you. Why would they move the data? <laughs> I've been targeting one of their data centers with a botnet-driven DDoS attack. Hey, every port All right. into its network that I can find. 
Yeah? Okay. Apparently, hey, Cloud Flare hasn't much, been invented. Toss in a few attempts to crack the, the year of our Lord 2064. Are bricks. <laughs> oh, it's boy. standard procedure for them to move their sensitive data to a different data center in case the attacker actually gets in. Yeah, I guess, but that leaves a pretty fucking big attack vector, doesn't it? Make enough noise, and it'll scare them enough into taking some defensive action, which is where we want them. Yeah, very predictable, isn't it? The files are more vulnerable in transit. Let us know when you're done, I guess. Now you'll just hold tight. I'll be done with this lickety split. All right, you take your time. It's not like we're on a schedule or anything. Tick a tap, 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 tick a tap. Hmm. Surveillance camera footage. That's what I thought this was for a sec. I thought that was a cam, but it's apparently just an arm. Oh shit, that's not a good expression. What the fuck happened? Oh no. Oh god. Oh, that's not good. What? Oh, turn. Oh shit, that's not good. I'm so sorry. Oh no. Hayden's dead, isn't he? What is it, Tomcat? No, 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 no. What did you find? No, 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 He's gone, Tomcat. Uh, That's why we're here. Yeah, literal. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Shit. I, I mean, he's gone. Gone, Turin. You, you can say the four-letter D word, please. Hayden. Is, Hayden is dead. Yikes. That's unfortunate. Very good straight face there. You're learning. Well, that obviously isn't right, Tomcat. Why would they kill him? You. There's a lot of answers to that question. Can you send me the relevant <laughs> files? Oh, jeez. You probably don't want to see that. You must have missed something. I I don't think you should see it, but if yeah, you're yeah. sure. No, 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 no. As a human, I'm intervening. Do not send that fucking file. Parallax. Had security cam footage from the hallway outside Hayden's apartment encrypted on their network. Just a short clip. Oh boy. It looks like Hayden started to struggle with a couple of big dudes when they broke through the door and one of them shot him. Uh... I also found some chatter about it on some darknet channels. It wasn't a kidnapping. Somebody went there to murder him. Ugh. That's messy. I'm so damn sorry. Oh, please don't, don't do it. Don't. Don't. D stop it. Oh, it's not good. Thank you for your assistance in this matter. Ah, oh, shit. Ah. God damn it. I think I'll walk back to the apartment. I need some time to run some calculations about this new scenario. Ah, fuck. That's not a good thing to say. If you'll excuse me. Should you follow them? Yeah, probably would be a good thing, huh? All right, let's let's be let's be let's be the good guy here. Need some time to myself too. If you say so. Yeah, I'm gonna keep digging through this data until they kick me out of the system. All right, you do that. Throw yourself into your work. I'll try to find some kind of lead on why this whole thing started in the first place. Let's see. All right, all right, all right. Keep going. Maybe I can find something out about who killed Hayden and. Why Parallax has a copy of the footage. Mm. It ain't much of a silver lining, but we have the answer on Hayden's fate. I guess. Not much of a closure, though, is it? Maybe it's time to call it quits. No, 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 no. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Well, that's a fucking downer. Christ.
Well, I guess it doesn't change what we set out to do, does it? And it's the end of chapter two. <laughs> Fuck. Wow. All right. You're back. Uh, Turing, how, how you doing, big guy? How you doing? Uh, how are you doing? You know, Hayden was a brilliant programmer, far ahead of his time. Yeah? I am a machine, and intrinsically, I do not have all the glands and visceral chemical reactions <sighs> that make humans so emotional and brilliant. Oh boy, alright, well Turing is still Turing, that's for sure. But his code is a <laughs> flawless replication of that, inside my own personality algorithms. Okay. I don't think I've ever felt this... this anger. Oh, fuck. Here's where the robot operating starts, huh? It fouls my processors and fills my RAM with frustrating, half-finished plans of revenge. Oh, boy. Uh, Turing, revenge, not... Not a great idea. Just gonna tell you this is one human to a uh, creepy fish tank robot thing. Revenge not good. My motherboard burns in my casing from how little I can rest. I'm in pain and I can't make it go away. <laughs> tell me about it. I do not like the thoughts I'm having about the people who did this to him. Hmm. <laughs> oh, jeez. Can you turn them off? Oh, boy. I... I could. I can disable those modules. Uh... But if I turn off every emotion I don't want to feel, what does that make me? Would I still be me? It would make you a robot. You're already a robot. If I were human, turning off my emotions would be seen as extremely unhealthy. Uh, I don't know. There is a wealth of information on the MeshNet about human psychology. I just don't know how much of it applies to myself. Either way, Hayden deserves my grief. Okay, it that's fair. My way of that's that's a, that's him. that's a good way to think Maybe about it. The only way I can, I offer it freely. Did you see the jade plant? Uh, it's doing well despite the hardships it has gone through. Is th is that what that fucking was? Besides the Crassula ovata or whatever the fuck he called it before? That's jade. Okay. There is a lesson there. <laughs> Okay, this is already really deep and feelsy. Do we really need to get into plant lessons? Too? I don't know that do, I can do we? listen to it right now, but yeah, I'll try. Yeah, that's probably true, actually. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Will, will you keep helping me? I need you. Well, let's see. The first contact we had was you sneaking into my apartment at night. That's kind of creepy still, a little bit. Find the bastards who yeah, bastards, Turing, upgrading to fucking full-on adult cursing. All right. I need to you got my respect this. for that. Need to finish this. I yeah, don't all right. Know what I'll do afterwards, but I need to see this through. Okay. Ooh, one and three are pretty good options. Let's go one. Bring him to justice. Justice. Yes, good. <laughs> I knew you'd keep me from losing myself in this. That's right. Let's make sure they have the appropriate time to atone for their crimes in prison. <laughs> okay. Even yep. if it takes the rest of their lives. Oof. That's dark. I think for now we should keep knowledge of Hayden's death between you, Tomcat, and I. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. It may give us an edge if the people we seek don't know how much we've already discovered. We'll talk after you've had some time to rest. 
Oh, jeez. Uh, accommodating my human weakness here. That's probably a good idea, actually. You likely need sleep, and I need some time to... Process I this? need some time. There you go. Okay. All right. Good catch. Good catch. Bow, 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 mm. bow. No, no, well, give me a chance to look around or something. Jesus. I don't like it when they take control away from you. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, shit. All right. Place your bets. Is Turing gone when we wake up? Good morning. Oh, I it's not. All right. Well. Great. Bum, 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 bum. At least the music is happy again. That's nice. Uh, how about you? Let's. I had ample time to recharge my internal batteries. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's the Turing we know and love. Okay. Uh, it's not what I meant. It is upsetting that Hayden is gone. Okay, good catch. But life for the rest of us goes on. Yes. Yes, it sure does. We still have a mystery to unravel, and I will waste no further processing time over something I cannot reverse. <clears throat> That's good. Okay, so we've gone through denial, anger, depression, I guess, bargaining, already to acceptance. That's pretty fucking quick, Turing. There is no point. The fuck? Why is Nightbot freaking out? Unknown Twitch channel. Fucking whatever. I'll deal with that later. Now that we are both refreshed, I feel it wouldn't hurt to recap our progress and determine if any changes should be made based on our successes and failures. Let's talk about how things are going so far. Okay, success number one. We're friends with Jess. That's a pretty good success. Since your journalistic efforts are a big part of why I originally recruited you, we can start there. <laughs> I wrote a review about these stupid ass headphones, I guess, your right? Your inquiring mind has been a huge boost in our journey thus far. Has it? Okay, if you say so. As a ROM, I can't talk to people as intently as you, so I must say I'm quite grateful for your skills in that regard. Okay, well that's good. That's a good ego boost. Thank you, Turing. You're diligent in your day-to-day -day work as well, which further grounds my hope in you. Wow, all right. Two, two comp- two, like, full-ass compliments from a robot. All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. Beyond journalistic persistence, let's take a look at how we performed in other responsibilities. Uh -oh. Specifically, our choices in overcoming obstacles. <laughs> Okay, this is like the, the Walking Dead shit, right? X number of players did this. Our first major hurdle proved challenging, but we made use of our surroundings and found a creative avenue. Which which one are you talking about there, Turing? Furthermore, I am pleased with your utilization of nonviolent methods. <laughs> Eliminating any excessive risk should allow us to move swiftly. That's right. Nonviolence is the way. Finally, I was quite impressed Unless by your somebody gives you the side on eye. The fly, as they say, and perform so well when thrust into a sudden situation. A sudden situation that is largely caused by you running your mouth, I might add, but you know whatever, let's keep going. Lastly, I'd like to discuss how we're getting along with our companions and allies along the way. It's important. Jess, Lexi, Tomcat, Majid, Gus, Oliver and Chad. I mean, Starfucker. We got seven allies. I was very impressed with your negotiation abilities with those kids. That's we right. We got our data cache, and they went on their way, and hopefully learned a lesson, too. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Kids are pretty damn stupid. Jess is a bit of a harder read, but she did agree to help us out in a big way. That's right. As long as her brash nature doesn't tempt you to lash out, I think things will go smoothly. Dude, every interaction with her, I could have fucking lashed out super hard, but I didn't. All right? That's just what she would have wanted, some justification to hate me. I didn't give it to her. 
So I'd call that a win. Detective Rivers was good to involve as well. And I can tell you enjoy having a familiar face around. Hey, don't read too much into that, robot. All right? I like Lexi. She could prove to be our greatest aid as long as we make it worth her time. No funny business. <laughs> no funny business. You mean that bullshit you concocted to knock her over and steal her ID card? That kind of funny business? That was your fault, by the way, Turin. Tomcat Turin. seems to genuinely care for our cause, and I have no trouble with letting their expertise guide us. Cat, cat, cat. Out of everyone else, they seem to be easiest to get along with, too. Well, you know, Southern hospitality and all that. And finally, Majid? You and I. Oh, fuck. I was hoping you were going to say Majid. Majid's a stand up dude. I must say, we have worked together better than I ever expected. I hope you feel the same. Which means you had very low expectations, which is not a very good thing to say. <laughs> But okay, Turing. I, I gotta ability. say, you're, star you're starting to your starting well. to grow on me a little bit. Please continue showing me around the city as we continue our search. Uh, all right. Well, first we should go back to Stardust, grab a drink. You know. Unfortunately, we it is morning after all. No, well, Tomcat's working on it. Don't worry about it. We'll Perhaps be fine. Tomcat was able see, to find Tomcat, to we on the same wave. While they were inside. And hopefully it's not more footage than uh I hope so, but I feel a little bad for relying on them as much as we do. Hey, you know what? Nerds can solve the problems. Always going so far for Hayden. They must have been close. Well, they had that meeting scheduled for yesterday and they, we showed up, so whatever. Oh, speaking of them, yeah. incoming call from Tomcat. All right, what, what, what we got? What we got? Forwarding video and audio. God, that's a fucking creepy ass space right there. Uh, all right. Morning. Morning. You look a little down there, Tomcat. Come on, sunshine. How you been doing, huh? All right. I'm fine, Tomcat. Thank you for your concern. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's better. Well, okay. Just say the word if I can help out in any way. You hear? Yeah, there we go, Tomcat. Of course. Like in that. In fact, I was hoping you might have a lead for us to start working at. Otherwise, we're down to canvassing Hayden's address book and seeing if any of his contacts have an idea about who might have had a desire to target him. But that's just fishing in the dark. Well, I pulled a fair amount of data from the Parallax service before they managed to kick me out, but it'll take me a while to go through it. Yeah, well, four eyes are better than two, right? A lot of it's unrelated. Well, six GPS eyes, I guess, we call two logs. eyes there. Do you see me for other corporations? GPS reports. <laughs> well, GPS reports it'll haven't changed in our, the year of our Lord 2064. Files, maybe we'll find something there. So, no, I don't have as much as a whiff of a trail on who's behind this. Well, maybe let me look at the video footage, just in case? No? No, I, I recently got a strange request from a friend of a friend. Okay, is that related to what we're talking Someone's about? Someone's been messing with the articles of a news organization named Augmented Eye. That sounds familiar. It seems like the network security head there is asking around for cybercrackers to help figure out how their reports are getting changed. Hmm. The original files on their servers are untouched. In their system, everything looks peachy keen. Yeah, okay. But when you view the site from the outside of the network, things are changed up. Oh, well, that's not that much of a stretch. A word here, phrase there. It's subtle, but often has a big impact on the article's tone. <laughs> <laughs> Someone yeah. with deep access to Parallax's mesh net is changing what's being shown. Yeah, alright. I ain't sure if it's related, but maybe y'all can head down to the main KCOB offices and try talking to the gal that runs Augmented Eye. Uh, My name is Zin. G Gesundheit, KCOB. Zin is a fucking fantastic name, by the way. I like I that. I ain't got the time or the desire to stick my nose that far out for a stranger, but it seems like your kind of deal. <laughs> what, you think we're gonna stick our nose out for a friend of a friend of yours? Really? 
Okay, I guess we got nothing else to do. Jesus, fuck. Mm, it does seem to be a bit of a stretch. Yeah, no shit, right? But if we have to wait for you to work on the data we've collected anyway... See, we got nothing else better to do except look at our clogged up ass sink and our recently recovered jade plants. Yeah, sure, we'll look into it. All right, I'll pass the word along that you'll be in sometime today to stick your noses in. And right. I'll send y'all word as soon as I get anything worth hunting down. All right. Excellent. Thank you, Tomcat. We are grateful for your continued assistance. Yeah, there you go, Turing. Rub that nose a little bit farther up that asshole. No problem, Turing. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? Maybe you should take a little more time. It had like 13 trillion cycles overnight or something like that, right? You've been through some shit in the past few days. I said I was fine. Whoa. Thank you for your concern, but I am fine. Jesus, Turing, that is the first thing somebody who is not fine says. Trust I me. Have already I'm a human. Handled the I know this thing. Of Hayden's death. It's time to move on with the investigation. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to step on you. I'm, I'm just worried. Honestly, so, so am I. Uh, I'm here if you need anything. Thank you, Tom Cat. Understood. Acknowledged. I Ten four. We'll <laughs> be in touch. All right. Later, turn. Hey, how how about it? How about it later, Mr. Bond? Huh? Come on, I'm the human on the ah oh, fucking. No respect for the Mr. Okay. Bond. We have a lead, however tenuous. I've highlighted the Cos Io Corp office building on Cos your map. Cos Io Corp. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Well. Also. While we were talking to Tomcat, I received an email from Dr. Fairlight. Saying that he has now charged like 50 billion credits for the, the weather ROM we busted earlier? Displaying. Oh. I thought that said Gmail for a second. Uh, greetings. But it's actually at mail. <laughs> I hope you'll forgive me for a voice only message, but I'm undergoing my treatment and would not call myself presentable for a video call. I, it could have been text only as well. I mean, that's what email is essentially, right? Ah, whatever. Still, 2064. Hold I down. wanted to inform you of an idea I had while looking into our mutual acquaintance's disappearance. Uh, okay. What you got? I haven't had any luck with my contacts inside Parallax, hmm. but I was reminded of an old friend by the name of Melody Flores, who may know also more a good about name. the nature of Hayden's research. Okay. She's the owner of Flower Cybernetics, and Hayden has been known to work closely with them on projects involving the intersection of Parallax's systems and the implants that Flower designs. Okay. Proceed. Melody and I are no longer on speaking terms so, <laughs> so that's good i can't introduce you so i guess i will not bring up your name then but perhaps the intrigue of hayden's little robot will get you entry into her home it wait wait i'm sorry what why would why would i want entry into her home don't i just want to talk to her seems a little creepy i hope this lead serves you well if you need anything else from me I will be in and out of the hospital room where we met for the next few days. Okay, fair enough, I guess. I will send word if I have any other insights or discoveries. Oh, maybe I should probably talk to Lexi, huh? Since we know that Hayden's dead. Yours, Dr. Yannick Fairlight. All right, you probably could have just said Yannick. We're not, we're not on first name terms. Probably could have just used Dr. Fairlight as well. Since I uh, used your card to get access to a weather ROM. Interesting. But whatever. I had no knowledge of Hayden ever working with Flower Cybernetics, but now I'm starting to understand just how little I really knew about his research. Maybe this melody can reveal more about the purposes of my construction. Perhaps. Perhaps. Hayden must have kept my development secret for a reason. Hopefully we can talk our way in. <laughs> by, by which, of course, you mean 
you will talk our way in, since you seem to be the only one with a voice. I have highlighted Melody's home on your map. What? Like, oh, Melody's mansion. Jesus, fuck. All right. Why would we be going to her home? Why wouldn't we be going to her place of business? You know, whatever. It's video game logic. Okay, we can now either follow Tomcat's lead to KCOV or Fairlight's lead to Melody's home. What? Can't we do both? Up to you where to go first. Okay, where to go first. Very good. That's what I like. That's what I like Tom to hear. Tomcat's led us in the right direction so far, but Fairlight has resources and his tip might end up being more relevant. God, you're really not helping my decision here, Turing. It depends on what you want our focus to be on in terms of tracking Hayden's trail. Should we follow the media or the tech? <sighs> well, it's a long ass day, isn't it? Can't we do both? It's fitting. They're the two factors that make Neo SF so unique and wonderful. Media and tech? If we explore them both to the fullest, there's no way we won't be closer to the answer. All right, if you say so. What do we got, by the way? Got a lot of shit. Let's look at the brick. A heavy brick. Excellent. <laughs> do we need to talk to this plant anymore? Looks pretty healthy to me. Let's talk to it, I guess. Be just fine after all. All right, good. Let's use the plant. Still alive, but not sturdy enough to touch. What kind of fucking plant is that then? Wait, did it just do the like the little the little cross sparkle on us too? Or was that just my imagination? Did I hallucinate that? Anybody confirm? Ah, fuck it. All right. Well, before we before we head out, let's do a little savey save. All right. Well. Uh, that sucks. As a human, I can corroborate. Okay, where are we headed out to? Well, first, I think we should go talk to Majid. He might know something. And since time doesn't seem to pass until we do like a story relevant thing, he might have some info for us. Who fucking knows? Welcome to Stardust. And this dude must work every day. Very dedicated sort of person. Majid, my friend, what how you, you doing? Having? What am I having? What's good for just waking up? <laughs> well, Scott's drop and roll sounds pretty good. So many drinks these days. Drink scenario. Oh we boy, Turing gonna get dunked on here. Oh, yeah, got Gus, this, coming through. <laughs> this one is. What the fuck is this? Half Irish cream and half butterscotch. What? That's not scotch! But it sounds pretty delicious anyways. Irish cream and butterscotch schnapps with a caramel hand. Wow, that sounds actually pretty good. <laughs> it was not smooth with almost no bite and lingers on the palate. One of the sweetest drinks we have. Aw, oh, poor Turing. <laughs> Thank you, hon. Yeah, sure. Let's grab it. Here you go. Excellent. You mind if I take this outside? I got things to do. <laughs> Woo! Actually, wait, is, is Jess still hanging? Wow, okay. Why is the bouncer just hanging out? Had to rank the friendliest of every bouncer you've met. They might fall on the higher end. Really? They they look kind of beef, but whatever. Let's talk no to them. VIP access today. Oh, Jess is still here. All right, let's talk to Jess. Hey, how you doing? Oh, look, it's my favorite human in the mechanical sidekick. Hey, that sounded almost halfway sincere. We're getting we're getting somewhere here. We're making progress. I'm caught up in something at the moment. Chances are we'll cross paths again. Wow, don't sound so excited, Jess. My goodness. I enjoy working with you, too. Let's talk to this dude again. What do we got? <clears throat> I should ride legend going around about Megaphobia that says if you reach the final screen you'll you'll carry what you have seen with you. Um Zach and weird computers powering on by themselves, calls from no one. Spooky. Yeah, that sounds about right actually. Let's play it again, huh? Let's let's play it. I 
guess. <laughs> so dumb. Things have been pretty heavy recently. I guess playing playing a little game won't uh, won't hurt none. I'm pretty good with the Vigi games, as you can tell. Oh yeah, I gotta get charged up here. Maybe I can beat my own high score. Shit's going wrong. We're fine though. Oh, okay, good. We got the right one. We didn't get the health, so that's fine. Uh, all right, we'll get that one. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. We're fine. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Fuck off. <laughs> I should make some of the drinks from the game. I don't know if I I don't have the that was so terrible. I don't have the materials for that, to be honest with you. You see, I'm a very simple dude when it comes to drink making. I mean, I make my martinis every now and again, but everything else is usually just straight up or like a simple mixer. However, I believe you beat it. Did I beat it? Did I get a high score? A high score for sure. Yeah, that's right. Turing's got my back. 170, 100. Fantastic Only drink straight effort. vodka. Yeah, I've done I that too. You were a goner near the end. Oh, Turing, you gotta have more faith. More faith in the human race to really beat some ass at Vigi games. All right, let's talk to this creepo again. I'm ashamed to say I've gone on a few assy spike benders in my time. In your time, like, what? Your t your are you, s you know what, never mind. It's fine. Let's talk to the sponsor. Find another place to be. Hey, oh, come on. I'm just trying to be in, all right, it's fine. Do we still have that drink, by the way? Look at it. What do we got? Half Irish cream and half butterscotch schnapps. See, I don't have either of those two things, and I certainly don't have caramel hard candy. But whatever. It's fine. Well, technically, I'm drinking one of them right now, just straight up whiskey. That's got to count for something, right? Okay. Well, we'll we'll drink that later. We'll hang on to it for now. Let's actually talk to Gus. Oh, hey there. Hey, Do you Gus. Need something? Yeah, well, what you got for us? Uh, that should be everything, I guess. Later, you two. Hey, nice. Bye bye. Uh, they're they're sweet. They're sweet. I like them. No, not the menu. I didn't want the menu. I wanted to go go outside. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh no, I had to leave my drink behind. Well, I should have fucking drunk them. Oh, that's dumb. Good thing they don't make me pay for that. Why did I have to leave my drink behind? They couldn't like put in a thermos for me or something? All right, okay, what do we got here? We've got uh, the cost of that was Tomcat's lead and this is Fairlight's lead. Damn it. I mean, they're both like probably equally useless at this point, but a lead's a lead, right? All right, game over. See you later, thanks for stopping by. Um, You know, I'm, in I'm inclined to go talk to this Melody whatever, right? Because this cost IO thing seems like a bit a bit of a dead end, but let's let's go talk to whatever her name is. <sighs> uh Turing, cheer up. Come on. What's wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. I was wool gathering. <laughs> Turing, don't pick up the bullshit of humanity, please. It's not worth it. I see we've arrived at the Melody Flora's residence. Yes, we, we sure impressive. have. I mean, it looks like, I mean, I guess we can only see the front of it, but she's got some statues of weird 
cat lion things, I guess. But that's to be expected, considering that she is still the majority owner of the Flower Cybernetics Group, despite Wait. retiring from day-to-day -day operations at the company. Which means she rich as fuck. I wonder how she and Hayden first began working together. Well, maybe that's something we can ask her. So get your shit together. Sorry. Let's, let's talk. On task. Let's talk to her. Is there anything you'd like to know before we head inside? How about everything you got? All right. What do we got about the flower, flower cybernetics? cybernetics? Was established in the early 2000s by Melody's mother, Antonella. Okay. All right. So this is a family-ish business. It started out developing cutting-edge medical tech, including advanced prosthesis and nanoparticle diagnostic and treatment technologies. Okay, well, first half is pretty fucking realistic. Second half is a little bit sci-fi. That's right. They were vastly successful when they perfected the first synthetic nerve mesh, allowing direct connection and control between the nervous system and a cybernetic prosthesis. Damn, that would be pretty fucking handy and make you a bazillionaire. The majority of their early projects were defense technologies for the American military. <laughs> of course. The military and porn, the two drivers of technology, essentially. Injured soldiers, <laughs> and then eventually electively for special forces. Why? Hmm. Why would it be elective for special forces? I'm pretty sure that would be probably required. This research line culminated in the development of brain-controlled androids as shock troops long since barred by international law. <laughs> All right, so there's a Geneva Convention 2.0 floating around out there, I guess, Melody in the year of our Lord 2064. From her aging mother, and she fought against developing further military hardware from that point on. Wow, that's actually kind of impressive because military contracts will bring in the big bucks. She pushed the company to use the BCA technology for the company's original goals of medical advancement as well as developing the first direct link virtual reality implants. Both respectable goals. The company is largely successful on a global scale, despite continued legislative movement against extensive cybernetic use, especially brain implants. Ah, Dude, r real talk, if there were like some fucking cyborg ass shit for brain implants, I would be all over that. I mean, fucking progress, right? What can you tell me about Melody? Mm, not a whole lot. She a recluse? Like good old Hayden? She's largely private, in contrast to her mother's penchant for courting a media circus. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Alright. Several biographies of former flower executives show her as intensely passionate about demilitarizing the company to the point of absolute viciousness in the boardroom. Well, majority owner will let you do that. But it's been a long time since her days of fighting for the company, and she's since stepped away from the helm. Mm, that's probably not a great idea. There's talk that she's lost her spine in her old age, but... But, thankfully, medical technology has uh, proven the quality to be able to regrow spines. Ha 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 ha. Ah, uh, Turing dot 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 what? A grain of salt. Yeah, so would I she at this point. She may have retreated from the corporate battlefield. But you don't change the entire direction of a company as large as Flower if you're a quitter. <laughs> There's still a hint of shade coming from Turing towards humans Stay in general. Alright, alright, alright. Message received. Didn't Yannick say he and Melody had a falling out? He yes. Did, and I can't shine much light on that. Oh, well, fucking what good are you then? I know that system. I keep you around for MeshNet access and info. You know, you're not doing it. For the direct link virtual reality implants. So perhaps it happened during that time. Yeah, that's possible, I guess. Also, Flower eventually went with a different company for future models of the implant. But uh, there was never Parallax? any public talk of a personal falling out between the heads of the companies. Well, I sure hope not. You don't air your dirty laundry in public. That's a bad idea. I'll scrape the mesh for more rumors, but they'll only be that. Rumors. Okay. Message received. I can do my best to parse fact from fiction, but it blurs too much for me to be sure what's real. Welcome to the human condition, Turing. Welcome. Let's head on in. No time like the present, then. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Let's take a look around. We got some windows. Expertly designed den. 
All right. It's, that's a bear? I guess it uh, doesn't really look like a bear, but whatever. It's fine. Let's take a look at it. Small scale bear statues guard the entrance to the mansion. Okay. Talk to it. Ah! <laughs> but um, bum. Oh, goodness. Why? Why? I guess I didn't expect anything less. Um, I don't want to use the brick, do I? Oh, I was hoping to use the milk. Dang it. All right. What else we got? We got a door. We got a, we got a plant. Tall shrubs could line the estate of a Victorian duke. They're that stuffily pleasant to look at. <laughs> ah, shade from Turing. That's the Turing we know and love. Look at the doorbell. Looks like the buzzer for an apartment complex. She needs one of these just for one house. Well, it doesn't really look like a buzzer so much as a little fucking thick-ass laptop just standing out here. Let's look at the door. Entranceway, small foyer. As you see through the model glass. All right. Open the door. Hmm. Maybe we should ring the bell first. Or we could knock on the door like a normal human being. That was my thought, but whatever. Let's use the bell. Ring a dingo. Whoa, Jesus. Whoa! Fucking hell, what is this? Does she have a polar bear guarding her door? That's rad! <laughs> uh Hi? <laughs> is that a bear? I don't even want to know. Is Melody home? Yeah. Er, yes, I guess that means yes. Hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm glad me and Turing are on the same page at least. That was confusing as fuck. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> so weird. Mine says we can go in. Well, he cleared the door and left the door open, so yes, that would be a good assumption. Should we? Uh, I don't think polar bears eat robots, so I think we're fine. Let's look at it. That bear even turned the door handle. Well, they've got... Do they have opposable digits? No, they probably don't, but they got claws, right? So they can probably grip shit. Let's go in. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. Spiky. Yeah, no shit. Look at this. They've got some creepy ass cyberpunk Victorian music going on too. And what the fuck is this? Jesus, there is a lot going on here. Swanky? What? Yeah, what? I have been trying to increase my usage of colloquialisms. <laughs> oh yeah. Is swanky too out of date? Oh. Uh. I don't know. We're like 47 years in the future here, Turing. I don't know. You tell me. It's certainly before my time. <laughs> and you look old as fuck. With the beauty mark and the white hair and the, the shiny gold rings and the bangles and whatever. So, whatever. Oh, Miss Flores. Uh, ask a lady's name before you address them, Turing. That's a good idea. Excuse us for the intrusion. My name is Turing, and... Oh, I know who you are. Uh, could you open your eyes when you're talking to us, please? That's a little creepy. Please. please I can explain. You... I know you don't like Dr. What? Fairlight very much, but I assure you there's a situation. Uh, Turing, again, the flapping of the gums before your time. Fairlight? Hmm. Yeah, exactly. See, see what I have to work with here, Melody? Like, this robot is just... Ugh, oh, god damn it. All right, whatever, let's... I didn't realize Hayden's research had become a charity case. Oh, well, that's some deep-level shade right there. Though I suppose little boy Yannick will throw money at anything that raises his profile on the mesh. Wow, she is, like... Top level upper crust at this point. That's not what I expected, really. But whatever, we'll we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Wait, you know Hayden? Also, we actually only just met Dr. Fairlight yesterday. <sighs> Turing. You are cashing in like all of our chips right away. Please, please let the humans talk for a bit. 
Just like like one or oh, two sentences. That's too bad. Now Pat won't have to eat you. Pat is the name of your bat. Or er, bat. Bear, excuse me. Your bear, I guess. Or your little cyber kitty here, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah, Pat, I'm confused too. Like what the fuck? Got a little cyber bear butler going on. What? Bears don't eat robots, Turing. Just fucking please. Though I'm not sure your gears would have been good for his digestion. Yeah, no shit, right, lady? Let's see what Actually, I got to work no, with here. I'm not comprised of gears. I'm more of a neural net computer. Or a neural net processor. Alerting computer. Well, either way, he's on a diet. <laughs> oh, poor cat. <laughs> <laughs> this weird and good. is how I lead my life. Sometimes you eat the bear, and sometimes the bear, well, he eats you. All right, well, they got rich lady eccentrism all over this, so whatever. I guess it's still accurate. Do you understand? Honestly, lady, no, I don't. Not Really? Yes, Turing! Speaking it like it is. Thank you. Look, I don't have all day to entertain you, Turing, nor your new friend. Not even for Hayden. Hey! I have a fucking name. Of course, Turing didn't introduce me because everybody in 2064 is shit at introduction. You don't have Christ. time to waste if you're going to find him either. But. Hey. Melody? How did you know he was. Missing. Right. Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Exactly. That's the fuck is going. Mm, I don't like this. Let's look around. We got a lot of time. Let's look around. <clears throat> Malcolm model. All right. How do I are all these plants in little bubbles? Use an item. Can I use my milk on it? Damn it! Can I use my electro laser on it? Ah, it's good. The plants are shocked because it's an electro pistol. Ah, it's really good. Really good pun work there. Not in an actually electrified way. Just surprised that you would pull something like. That. Oh my god. Ah, the second level puns. Pretty good. Pretty good. Found. Let's look at the found. A huge marble fountain adorns the courtyard. Its pleasant bubbling sound can just barely be heard over the TV and outdoor ambience. Let's look at the TV. What's on TV? The latest episode of Media Blitz. Going into the sordid details of a new teen actor's island love affair with a local... Oh my god. Well, fucking garbage news hasn't changed in 2064, has it? Fucking hell. What is this? Like some kind of advanced ass Roomba? R O five five one E eight nine three. Patiently near Pat in a sort of ambient sleep mode, playing light instrumental music. Pat. Melody keeps unusual company. Dude, if you were an eccentric rich old lady, why wouldn't you have a cyber bear and a cyber cat? Fuck. I'd question if you didn't have one of those. Ursus Maritimus, if I'm not mistaken. Maritime bear? That might be why the temperature controls are set so low in here. Or polar bear, essentially, right? <laughs> Hate it when I I'm right. I wasn't aware you knew the scientific name of the species. I, uh, sure did. Ooh, has my interest in proper nomenclature started to rub off on you? Turing. I assure you, it has not. <laughs> well, you could be an albino black bear. Why the fuck are we being racist about this suddenly? Plenty. Have you heard of a kermode bear, also known as a spirit bear? Or he could be a white phase black bear, or <laughs> even a pizzly. Isn't that what I just said? That's pretty good. I like it. But he's not. It's a polar bear. Thank you, Turing. I already fucking knew that. Thank you. That, that is not a cat. You... Mm, look at it. 
Regal looking robotic cat in the world. Yeah, exactly. I'm a fainting chair. Yeah, I knew that was a fainting chair, actually. Fucking large, long, and has a little pillow ass armrest over here. All right, talk to it. It's remarkably bored at all attempts at conversation. Just like a normal cat. How about that? Let's talk to the bear. Gurren stuff? <laughs> Does a bear sh <laughs> Does a bear shit in the woods? The obvious answer is yes. Brr. Ah, he gets it. The bear gets it. Pat gets it. What else we got? Oh. <laughs> what are the burdens you bear? Oh my goodness, why? Brr. Yeah, exactly. I don't, that's not a great one either. What else you got? What is the meaning of life? 42. Yeah, I'm sure that was pretty fucking profound, right? What else you got? Woof. Yeah, exactly, right? What else you got? All right, so we've, we've reached the looping points. Okay. Strawberries, teapots, eat strawberries. Biggest strawberries you've ever seen are assembled in a china bowl on the coffee table. Well, let's have some. Look too good to eat. Might be the point. What? Well, fuck it. What's the fucking point of that? Come on. If you're rich and hoity toity and whatever, you eat that shit. I'll just use it for decorate. That's dumb. Talk to it. Teapot itself is busy, but the computerized pot holder takes note of the request a temperature change. Fuck yeah, let's have some tea. Handling of the teapot is strictly a domain of the host servants, at least in homes of this class. Fuck. How the other half lives. Fainting chair. Let's look at it. Blush purple fainting chair dominates the room. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's dominating. That's about 50% of the length of this room. As we can see it. Let's use it. Strict one-to-one -one human to animal ratio. <laughs> Clearly, since she's got the cutouts for it, right? Look at it. Alright, we already looked at it. Let's talk to her, I guess. If you were one of Fairlight's <sighs> worker bees, you wouldn't have made it through the door. So why are you here to badger me about poor Hayden? I literally did nothing and your bear let me in. So that's not a very good security system, to be honest with you. I expected, like, a gentle mauling. You have me at a disadvantage, Ms. Flores. You seem far ahead of us on this matter. On... Um, what, knowledge of Hayden? Yes, I guess, but she doesn't know he's... D-E-A-D. Just call me Melody, darling. Yeah! And of course. All right. But I'll share a secret or two with you. Okay. This may have been the wrong lead to follow up on. I don't like this fucking hoity-toity-ass music, first of all. And second of all, I want to eat those strawberries. They I didn't have let so me. many questions. Do you know what's happened to Hayden? I wish I didn't. Maybe you don't want to either. Uh, well, technically we already know, but... I guess another perspective wouldn't hurt. Please, Melody. Any information you might have. Information is king. We haven't had access to any of his research notes and couldn't track down any collaborators he may have been working with. Perhaps if we know more... We might be able to nail down a solid motive. Well, I don't know if I can speculate on that beyond the usual corporate infighting. I don't know if it's comforting or distressing that corporate infighting means murder in the year of our Lord 2064, but I'll just go with it, I guess. Not that Parallax <clears throat> is known for that, of course. Cor what, corporate infighting or murder? Either one. Take your pick, lady. We had been catching up recently, and he mentioned feelings of being watched. He started to worry he had been discussing your development with the wrong people. Well, that's his mistake, then. When he stopped returning my calls, and now that you've shown up with a total stranger, it becomes clear what happened. Total stranger? 
Lady, this robot broke into my apartment. What the fuck do you want me to do about it? I, fuck. I see. Can Jeez. you tell us anything else about his disappearance? Oh, I'm afraid not, dear. I've been around long enough to know what's coincidence and what isn't. I don't like her tone. Like, she is playing the rich old lady part pretty fucking thickly. And I don't like that. Hmm. We were hoping you might be able to shine some light on my origins. Origins aside, Turing. I'm gonna take a brief break. Be back in a minute or two. Okay. <clears throat> what else we got here? Oh, we might be able to shine some light on my origins. Blah 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 blah. Like mentioned that you had worked with Hayden in the past. I see Hayden didn't neglect curiosity in your personality makeup. Hmm. Yeah, that's certainly true. Well, you and I haven't properly met, but considering how often Hayden badgered me for design schematics of Flower's latest neural implants. I might as well be your... Oh, uh, yeah, aunt, we'll go with that. <laughs> we'll go with that. <laughs> uh, I hate being right. I wouldn't mind being an aunt, even to a blue-headed robot. Oi, hey, why you gotta bring color into this, Melody? Jesus. I'm touched, Melody. Yeah, you sure look like it. <laughs> well then, I'm willing to answer your questions for now. Uh, for now, yeah. Of course, there's always a writer on the run on the end of that, isn't there? Uh, how did you help Hayden with Turing? From the Indeed. top. From the top. I don't see the connection between your company and Hayden's research into machine sapience. 
Well, if they're working on neural net processors and shit, I can see the connection, but whatever. Let's see what we got. Oh, what do we got? wasn't researching machine sapiens. At least not primarily. Oh, really? What was he researching then? Not to diminish the importance of your creation, Turing, but it's best you know the truth. <laughs> and what truth is that besides the truth that I'm getting Hayden tired? Hayden is mainly interested in developing a way to transfer human consciousness into a machine matrix. An interesting idea. Something that we might be greater than 47 years out, but whatever. You can see why neural implants would obviously be an integral part of that. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. <clears throat> How would Turing's development help with digitizing the human mind? The concept of transferring the human mind into a computer has been an attractive goal for decades. Yeah, well, first that means we need to understand the concept of human consciousness. Functional immortality is... Attractive. Powerful lure. Also true. The brain is an immensely complicated machine. And even though we know the right buttons to push to make pictures show up, <laughs> we still can't replicate the entire thing as a technological construct. You're awfully loquacious as a rich old lady, Melody. Even with the virtual <clears throat> reality implants, we're really just relying on the brain's ability to make sense of nonsensical signals. Nonsensical signals? Nerves use electrical impulses. I'd hardly call that nonsensical. Whatever. So Hayden what do I decided know? the best way to make a machine more like the human brain would be to work in the opposite direction. Meaning what exactly? Instead of mimicking how the human brain worked, he started writing code that mimicked the functioning of the human mind. Yeah, we've been doing that for years already. Think of it like convergent evolution. Two species adapt in similar ways, but on completely different continents. I guess. Hayden is a crack programmer when it comes to information collating. <coughs> it's why Parallax hired him when they did. So he wrote a bunch of self-modifying learning algorithms that were, <laughs> frankly, baffling and let them loose. Let them loose. Sounds like Hope a bad idea. Prod them here and there to make sure they value the same things humans do. Ho ho ho. Ah. Humans in general or specific humans? Because those could be two very different things. And we eventually end up with you, Turing. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that's, that's actually interesting. Hayden never revealed any of this to me. Well, fucking... I don't know if a robot knowing its origin story is a good idea there, Turing. I Let's be honest. he's pretty tight-lipped. Yeah, well, he's tight-lipped now. You were the first prototype he considered a real success, and he was afraid of contaminating your development before he had a chance to make good observations. Uh, wouldn't observation in the wild constitute good observation? Elaborate on your involvement. If you can even call it involvement. Lady, you were the CEO of the leading cybernetics corporation for a long time, I would guess. Yes, I would call it involvement. It's a small city. And if you're in the tech sector, you are never more than two degrees removed from anyone else. Yeah, that's probably also true, but still. When he started looking into this pet project of his, he came right up to my door and demanded access to the research logs behind our earlier implants. Demanded, huh? That's probably thinking of yourself a little bit too highly, but whatever. Cheeky. But it was impactful and disruptive, as they like to say around here. <laughs> Well, the latter of those two terms is still fucking well in use in the year of our Lord 2017, I can tell you that. I couldn't care less about flowers patents anymore. 
so I gave him what he wanted, just to see what he would do. Okay. I'm frankly more impressed than I expected I would be, but <laughs> don't tell him that. Uh, don't worry, lady. I don't think anybody's going to be telling him anything for a long time. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. oh, that's rough. Don't worry. I won't. Yeesh. Oh, God, that's actually kind of heart-wrenching. Oh, that was a compliment, dear. Uh, yeah, sure. Aiden wasn't invested in Turing's development? Uh, that's not what I caught, but whatever. I didn't say that. No, you certainly didn't, which is why I'm confused about why that came up in the list, but whatever. Go from the top down, this is what you get. Hayden was quite interested in Turing, even if he is just a step to further research. Uh... Okay. Hi. Yeah. In fact, he was preparing to publish his findings involving Turing. And I know it's going to make one heck of a splash in the scientific community. Oh, really? See, the most impressive part about you, Turing, is that you're surprisingly stock. Yeah, uh, excuse me? Stock? I assure you, Melody, my construction involves only the latest and greatest in ROM prototype <laughs> technology. <laughs> Ah, uh, see, when even the ROM gets to stick up its ass about what it's built about of, uh, yeah, okay. Exactly. You're not off the shelf, but you're still just a souped-up ROM, more or less like every other one out there. Oh, shade level, rich old lady. Oh my goodness. Your personality algorithms are impressive, but they don't require some new space-age technology to work. Oh, Turing, how does it feel getting the shade thrown on you? How does it feel? Hayden is going to propose that human consciousness transference does not require special brain-like hardware architecture, but merely the right software wrapper to interface with the hardware. Well, that was... What? That's already kind of true. The like hardware is there, but we just... Ah, uh, fuck. Much right. like how you function. Like, I, I think I'm way too probably closely related to this, but I'm a fucking programmer too, so I understand most of this. Hmm. I suppose that is correct. Yeah, exactly, right? Still, my personality matrices do take up substantial amounts of my processing power. I don't know if that's something to be proud about, Turing, to be honest with you. Wouldn't custom hardware have capabilities that better serve such a demanding specialized task? Ah, uh, good old FPGAs. Sure. There's still plenty of reason in trying to make a computer that works just like a human brain. We already have Efficiency those. Efficiency is an important part of that. Sort of. But if Hayden can emulate the human mind in existing technology, it means we can start the immortality now, rather than waiting for hardware to catch up with Hayden's software. Well, there's still the question of whether consciousness will truly transfer like that, but point well taken, lady. Frankly, I'm not terribly interested in living forever, but there's more True than enough. enough people who are. <laughs> yeah, and how. Thank you for this, Melody. Not sure that got us any closer to what we needed. I Probably should have gone with the KCOB, so whatever, whatever lead. Well, I'm sorry, I don't know more of the specifics. Well, you being Turing to Ant and all. Hayden kept me up to date on his progress, but only in the vaguest of ways. Meaning what? Oh, the robot finally talked to me type of thing? Or what, what's if the deal? If you can hunt down his notes, I'm sure they'll tell you more. Maybe we'll do that. Of course. We'll keep looking. Now, perhaps we could ask some other questions? Sure, sure. I mean, what else have you got to do besides sit there and twiddle with your hair, I guess? Alright, what's the story between you and Fairlight? Oh, 
Hell, that old bastard and I have been flashing daggers at each other for the better part of 20 years. Flashing daggers only, never using them? What the fuck's the point of daggers if you're not gonna use them? Fuck. I contracted out the software development for our first gen direct link VR neural implants to System 1. Well, that was your first problem right there. Contracting out is probably not a good idea. Things Just were saying. going great. But after the first model sold like gangbusters, Yannick tried to get into bed with me. Literally. Um, what? You know, I guess that's not really that surprising. Like, uh, you know what? Never mind. Let's just keep going. Let's keep rolling. I turned him down. <clears throat> very politely, I might add. And then, uh -huh. suddenly, all of the cooperation between our companies dried up. Gee, the two CEOs banging like fucking animals. We'll dry that up? Really? Or trying to bang, I guess? Fuck. One year of our Lord 2064 hasn't turned out much different. We've been at it back and forth ever since. Mm, mm, I'd be mm, damned mm. careful about trusting him if I were you. Jesus Christ, lady. Little ears here, please. Don't really need to know about you going at it back and forth. Ugh. He's a snake. And he'll do anything he can to get what he wants. Yeah. Still. Duly noted. I suppose if he tried again now, <laughs> I might not turn him down. <laughs> oh my god, alright, thank you. Can we talk about something else? It would be fun to needle him about me still having my own company when he doesn't have his. <laughs> ah, that's not what I wanted to know about, lady. Please. No. I think that's everything we need to know. Good. I can get back to my retirement. Yeah, it looks like you're real fucking busy watching your stories and not eating your strawberries, I guess. Thank you for your time, Melody. Fuck. We'll be in touch later. Get a hobby, lady. Oh, one more piece of information for you, if oh. you like it. Uh, really? All right, fine. I've got the contact info for a Vincent Mensa. Who I think might be of help to you. Okay. And why would you be giving to it, this to us just like out of the blue? What the fuck do you want in exchange for this? I know Vincent how this shit was works. was working more closely with Hayden inside Parallax. Mostly on his company approved research on data collating algorithms for the mesh. Hey. Okay. I'll send him a message and ask him to meet you somewhere. All right, can we make it Stardust? At least they got good drinks there. He owes me a favor anyway, and might be able to give you some more information on anything else Hayden may have been working on. Yeah, well, it's something. It's something. That would be fantastic, Melody. Yeah, yeah it's flash your charming ass smile. Perhaps. Golden Gate Park. No, 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 not Golden Gate Park. Stardust, Stardust, Stardust. Turing, we talked about this. Stardust. Wants to meet us as Stardust. Uh. Be careful, Turing. I don't like Fairlight stench all over this scenario. Don't show him too many of your cards. Well, it's a little late for that at this point. Turing's just a fucking chatterbox. Lady, this is what I got to deal with, all right? <laughs> yeah, good. Uh, go, go, go. This euphemism is unfamiliar to me. Turing, you have fucking like 100% 24-7 access to the mesh. You're telling me you don't know the colloquialism about showing people's cards? The fuck is the future of 2064 like if they don't even know this? <sighs> don't tell him anything if you can. Fairlight is more dangerous the more he's informed. Yeah, whatever. Thank you, Aunt Melody. Wish us <laughs> luck. Whoa, okay, uh, Turing, just leave off that whatever. It's fine, whatever. Wish us luck. Well, she didn't wish us luck, so whatever. Oh, the room control. What's this? The show monitor is well fixed on the back wall of the room. The temperature is set so low, it's freezing. She's not really wearing, like, super long winter clothes, though. Let's mess with it, if we can. Only Madame Flores and a team of techno-archaeologists could figure out how to make this fossil run. Come on, really? I mean, it looks more advanced than the stuff in the year of our Lord 2017, so who the fuck knows? Let's, uh, use the gun on it. It's old, but it's not in need of a defibrillator. Aw. 
Like, what the fuck is the point of giving me that gun if I can't even use it on shit? That's dumb. What else we got? Let's use the brick on it. Putting this Technum Crodger out of its misery might be for the best, but me, it's still kicking around for a reason. Aww, what else can I use on it? What was the other item? A pamphlet? Why the fuck would I be able to use the pamphlet on it? This thing is so old it might even agree with you and reminisce on the good old days when computers and humankind were separate but functional. Oh dear. Alright, that's fine. What else can we use on this? Let's use Fairlight's business card on it. Okay. Wait, I'm sorry, what? The second Clinton administration? Damn it. Alright, this game is kind of prescient. But... Uh... Damn it. <laughs> oh, damn it. Actually kind of regretting it's not right about that. Fuck. I like the high stakes social relationship and monitors there. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I get it. RO51E. Rosie. Ha ha ho ho he he ha, Jetsons. Extremely delicate. Lol lol lol. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Alright, that was a weird interaction. I don't I don't regret saying that. I guess we could go to uh Oh, we can't Okay, we can still go to the cost IO thing. Let's do that too. I don't want to leave anything un, un, unturned here, just because, you know? Let's save. Uh, let's save as. Uh, boring. There we go. Well, uh, that that's my prediction as to what this lead is going to lead to here. But we'll see what happens, I guess, huh? What do we got? What's what do we got? Let's look at some cars. 2061 models, more popular among car experts. Okay. It has an extra cup holder. Oh boy! Buffalo testicles. Fucking push it. I'll try to start a riot at the World Series of Month. <laughs> uh, wasn't there some riots about the World Series in San Francisco not too long ago? Wasn't that true? That's awfully prescient. Let's push it again. Ah, boo. All right, let's look at this car. 2062 is this CR4 coupe. Perfect landing. I'm going to spend a fortune credits on the car. Isn't this the one I was pushing outside of uh, Starlight? Or Stardust, rather? God damn it. Let's use, uh, let's use the headphones on it. And for the latest... Oh my god, that's terrible. All right, how about we use it on this one over here? It's Aki Pete, and I'm so wacky that I'm practically giving these cars away. Oh, God, it's, it's a car advertisement. Like one of those stupid fucking infomercial type ass things. Awesome. Awesome. Let's use the milk on it instead, though. Intem intent to pour your spoiled milk on the windshield, but the coupe's wipers are already all alerted and standing primed at the ready, daring you to try. Well, God, let's just do it anyways, then. If they're ready to fucking take it, let's do it. Let's talk to it. Tell the car to stay parked. Doesn't recognize your voice, so it doesn't respond. How about we talk to this car? Having fun talking to this car? Yes, I am. Oh, you are? Oh, well, then please keep talking to it. Oh, thank you. At least something acknowledges what I'm trying to do here. What else we got? A welcome sign? Place a pretty fancy interactive screen out front. If they can keep it outdoors, the electro work in it must be in another level. Well, not really. I mean, it's just waterproof garbage, right? Fuck. It's voice control. The screen cycle through the business listings and your available options. Excuse me. That's it? Nothing? Let's use it. Sign is not yours. Well, it, it said it was an interactive display. So it's not interactive. Thank you for lying to me, you little shit. What about the plant? It doesn't even have any data on the species. It must have been crossbred for the most genetic beauty. Well, yeah, it looks beautiful, I guess. It looks like a bunch of green and black pixels. What am I? What do I know? Let's talk to it. Hey there, little one. How's it growing? Ah, uh, lol. Bulbitus riparia, one of the more popular display ferns in recent times. Is that an actual plant species? Probably. Expensive, given the cost of caring for it. Lol, 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 lol. Species native to the threatened to threatened tropical forests. Popular import after being endorsed by a former former child star turned conservationist. Who the fuck would that be? 
All right. Well, let's talk to the door. Hmm. Talk with the revolving doors. Me too. How about that? Let's use it. No one is available at the most this moment. We apologize for the inconvenience. Really? Fucking... I, re I just want to... Let's stick to what we're doing... What we were doing elsewhere for now. Damn it! No! I didn't want to limit my options. I want to check out both our leads. Fucking hell. Ah. Fine. Let's go to Golden Gate Park. It's so dumb. Oh wait, we've been here before. Look, there's the carousel. Turing totally won't let you ride it yet. Something to look forward to when the mission's over. Oh, come on, Turing. Don't be a fucking killjoy. He did his second restoration nearly 10 years ago. That's, that's over 70 years since his first reopening back in 1984. Fuck me. That is a long time ago. Guy. Nice. Way to be generic about it. What else we got? Aw, oh, they still haven't replaced the little water thing. We got a doodle here, though. What's this? Talk doodle to the police around with some kids. <laughs> Alright, let's use the doodle. You make a lot of kids and probably Turing upset if you wrecked it. Well, yeah, because Turing's into graffiti, apparently. Let's talk to it. By his current state, the real police trauma is probably still more helpful to speak to than it's trying. Aw, somebody, did somebody doodle on this? Or is this standard police issue? Hmm? Who is there? I cannot see a thing. Because somebody drew over your eyes, probably? Shall I make a note to request more street lamps in this park? It's much too dark in here. <laughs> Clever. Let's look at it. Looks like some older kids got their artistic expression out in the poor police drama. Well, he's just fucking standing there. What is he going to do? Probably program for non-violence or some garbage like that. Poor thing. Can't see at all with its optics painted over like that. Doesn't even know. All right, let's use it. Great pain is coming off. You'll probably irritate them more if you start prodding. Lol, 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 lol. All right, so the Froyo stand is still pretty fucking wrecked, huh? Let's push the button. Let's turn off the water. Let's look at it. Let's use it. Let's use it. I'd rather have a mango hassy. I think. Ew, yuck. All right. Let's use the spoiled muck. It's already destroyed. You can't make a non-existent Froyo any worse. Really? Sounds like a challenge. Ah. Damn it. All right, well. Then it's closed off in 1974 after suffering fire damage. We opened in 1984. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> the only other standout is this person here. Can I help you? Uh, maybe. You got a pretty fucking badass monocular device there. I, I don't really have time to talk. I'm waiting for someone. Gee, go figure. So am I. Probably. Um, are you Vincent Mensa? We're here for a meeting on behalf of Melody Flores. Oh boy. Oh good. You're Melody's people. Yeah. People. Sure? Do you have everything that I asked for? Uh pff, what the fuck did you ask for? Let's start there. Uh, there must be some miscommunication. Melody said that you would be able to provide us with some information about Hayden Weber's projects within Parallax. He has gone missing, and any information we get may be useful. Damn that old woman. <laughs> Lol. Fucking psych, Vincent. You got taken for a ride just like we did. What? <laughs> Turing. Let me tell you a little bit, a little story about rich people. And their manipulation of the working class. We had a deal. She <clears throat> promised me, and I'm not giving up anything until I get what I need. Oh, well, all right, all right, Vincent, don't fucking assassinate the messenger, however that saying goes. I already know Hayden is missing. Okay. Why else would I be willing to sell corporate secrets to Flower? This was my chance to get out of the city. Whoa, whoa, what? Whoa, dude. It sounds like you got some serious problems to deal with. Instead, she sends the two of you, hat in hand with nothing. Hat, what, hat in hand? Number one, I don't have a hat. I'm pretty sure Turing doesn't either. Number two, fucking what? <sighs> yeah, what you got? I'm assuming you're Hayden's little pet AI. Well, I wouldn't couch it in those terms, but yes. 
insulting, but accurate. <laughs> okay, Turing, you're you're coming to terms with it. That's uh, that's good. That's good. Look, I'm sorry to come off callous. I I do want to help. Uh, do you now, huh? What is it that uh, Melody promised you exactly? Hayden was a colleague and a friend, and I want to know he's okay. Oh, uh, yeah, about that. But I also need help getting the hell out of Neo SF, and now, my info is my leverage, and it's not for free. Oh, well, you, do you want some spoiled milk? I got spoiled milk. I can share that. I'm not gonna I'll drink just have it. To find another buyer. No, 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 hey, 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 hey. make another deal, I'll be able to pass it to you. Hey, hey, whoa, hey, no, no, Vincent, Vincent, don't be that way. Perhaps we could assist you? Yeah, maybe, since I can't seem to speak for myself. Thank you, Turing. My friend here is a terrific journalist. <clears throat> Being skilled at hunting down people and information is part of the job. Turing, fucking please, do not oversell this. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. See, that's what I said, Vincent. See what I got to work with here? Look, I need a hundred thousand credits, Jesus. an untraceable car, and a fake passport for me and my wife, Francesca. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Jesus Christ, Vincent! What the hell are you into? A car and a passport. I... What? <laughs> Shit. What? <laughs> I don't know if I can do that for you, my man. I mean, I'm all about helping the little guy, but Jesus Christ. That is a lot to ask for. All that, I'll give you anything you want. Yeah. Games research notes, what I know about Parallax, my company's security credentials, whatever. Yeah, gee, is that all? Really? Fuck, that's, that's it? Well, let me just hit, hit the ATM up and I'll be right back. If you're really sure journals can come up with that kind of stuff in one day. <laughs> No. <laughs> we might be able to do that. The fuck? No. But yeah, I guess we'll go with it. Jesus. Might? <laughs> might? What? What the fuck do you want me to say to that? Like, might is the best I could. <sighs> Jeez. All right. Whatever. Okay. Fine. Fucking whatever. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. Let, like, how the fuck can I trust you? First of all, you're asking for a passport and a car and a lot of goddamn money. Jesus, fuck. Melody only gave us a rough sketch of what you need. The more you can tell us about the situation, the sooner we can fulfill your request. <sighs> Fucking hell. Yeah, right. Uh, sure. As long as it isn't the juicy stuff. Yeah, right. <clears throat> what do you do for Parallax? Start from I'm the top. I'm the head applications engineer for their data analysis division. Okay. All right. That really doesn't tell us much. Or maybe was, is what I should be saying. Oh, well, okay. That's, that's a very good, important distinction there. Thank you, Vincent. If Hayden is the big brain who comes up with the math that runs the search algorithms, I'm the guy who figures out how to collect and apply the data that we get. All right, so you're a code monkey. Whatever. <laughs> oh man, hey, hey, if we're getting info out of this guy, I'd say uh, taking uh, Turing out of rage mode is probably the better idea. We've worked pretty closely for years, but he's head and shoulders above me as far as theory goes. Well, yeah. Typically, code monkeys are below the theory, folks. Hayden built a fully independent machine intelligence in his spare time. Yeah, I mean, you're fucking looking at it. Him, her, it, whatever, right, Turing? Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to bash myself here. Of course. Why would you? I'm a good software engineer. Probably one of the best. <laughs> All right, just don't hurt your arm jerking yourself off too hard there, bro. But machine intelligence? In a form factor like yours? Now that blows my mind. Well, machine intelligence is more software than hardware, let's be honest. We've got full immersion, virtual reality, yet most people would still call you science fiction. 
All right, this guy knows way too much. Mm, if you say so. <laughs> exactly. Right. Why are you so adamant about getting out, getting the fuck out of Neo SF? Because Parallax is rotting from the inside out. Hayden going missing is the last straw, and it's a big ass straw. So you think you're next? Is what I'm gathering from this. There is. How do I put this without giving it away? <laughs> Give it a shot, bro. I'm pretty sure we've already heard it. There's a new project about to roll out, and it's going to change everything about how Parallax does their business worldwide. Okay, that's pretty fucking vague. Since the launch of the MeshNet, we've had some board shakeups, <clears throat> and the people at the top are different from the ones who've previously run the company. Yeah? The altruism the company displayed in the past is gone. <laughs> harder, more ruthless, and more concerned with profits and power than ever before. Ah! 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 This is my shocked face. For fuck's sake. Year of our Lord 2064 isn't all that different. Not just richest company in the valley power either. Real power. What, like killing people without raising a stink? That kind of power? Not really well, unique. Parallax got rid of Hayden because he was about to do something that would get in the way of that. Hmm. If they're willing to get rid of the brightest mind on their payroll, what's to stop them from getting rid of me? There's a half dozen people who could do my job. Yeah. Well, one murder is a lot different than seven murders, I guess. So I'm getting out before I accidentally step on the wrong person's toes and end up at the bottom of the bay. <sighs> well, you're pragmatic, I'll give you that. You know anything about Hayden's disappearance? Nothing concrete. I probably wouldn't have noticed anything out of the ordinary. Yeah? I mean, Hayden goes out for a couple days all the time, right? Conferences and guest teaching. So tell me, does Twitter still exist in 2064? And is Hayden a part of it? Oh, who am I kidding? In 2064, everybody's part of Twitter. Oh. He doesn't exactly share his itinerary with me. No. But I'm sure there's other ways you could keep in contact with him, right? I tried asking around, and no one will say anything. If he had jumped ship, went to a different company, it would be the talk of the week at the water coolers. Oh, oh, the, the week, huh? Just the week. Fuck. Instead, dead silence. <laughs> Bro, you don't know how right you are. Thankfully, he allowed me to keep backups of most of his work, simply because I cross-referenced it so much. He didn't like having it all in one place anyway. Yeah, a single source on GitHub isn't the way to go. Bring me what I asked for, and I'll tell you more. Well, one, what the fuck did you ask for? Two, maybe. Sure. Oh, wait, 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 that's right. The 100,000, the untraceable car, and the passport. Yeah, fucking easy peasy, bro. I need to make some calls anyway. Yeah, gee. If you do manage to get what I need, bring it here today and you'll get anything you want. What a Forwarding compelling... photos and info for the passports to Turing now. And I really hope you can do this. <laughs> you and me both, brother. I'd rather give it to you than some other corporation anyway. Christ. See you soon. I hope. I'm not quite sure where to get fake passports or an untraceable car. <laughs> really? Well, fucking help me out here, Turing. Where the fuck would I know how to get that shit? The only shady Jesus. folks we know are those punks who vandalized Hayden's apartment. Well, Tomcat could probably whip us up a fake passport. Untraceable car, though. And 100,000 credits? Well, Tomcat could probably get us that, too. But Jesus. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a quandary, all right. I doubt they could point us in the right direction, but a long shot is better than no shot. You really want to go back and talk to those pair of fucks? Oliver and Chad? I'm sorry, Starfucker? Christ. Oh, boy. This could be interesting, huh? 
They might agree to help us in repayment for the damage done to the apartment. They seemed remorseful. They? No, only the nervous dude. What Oliver? Only Oliver seemed like he would be willing to help us. That other dude is typical arrogant son of a them, bitch. In case they regularly hang out there. <laughs> what are they gonna try to jump in another auto cab and we gotta track him down or some garbage like that? Fuck me. As for the rest, perhaps Doctor Fairlight or Melody could spot us the credits. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Credits are there. That certainly is no small amount, but is unlikely to cause much consternation for either of them, assuming they are as dedicated to helping as they claim. I'd probably go to Fairlight before Melody. Then again... Eh, we'll see what happens, I guess. Melody is assumably home as usual, and Fairlight did let us know he'd be at the hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could ask either of them for assistance. Yeah, well, there. okay, so there's the cash, but where the fuck are we going to get the car and the passport? Up to you to decide which would be a better course of action. Gee, thanks. Fucking robot. I think Starfucker's his legal name? No, I don't think that. I think Chad is his legal name. Teenagers probably don't have the cash or wherewithal or dedication to actually get their names legally changed. Even in, in the year of our Lord 2064, I doubt he would do that. Okay, well, okay, so what do we need? What do we need? We need we need cash, we need a car, and we need a passport. You know. Passport. That's a legal thing, right? Lexi might be able to help us out. But I doubt she would do it. Majid, Majid though, was a bodyguard, so he might have some connections. Jesus. All right. Well, I guess let's go talk to those punks, huh? It's still snowing. Oh, that's dumb. Oh, what the? <laughs> what the fuck is this dude doing back here, dude? It's fucking snowing as hell. What are you doing back here, man? Let's talk to him. Welcome back. Uh, Care to take another pamphlet or two? No, you already. We already have the one that you gave us before. Why the fuck would we want another couple of them? You shit. Why are you out here all alone, by the way? Ah, the cold weather has made organizing demonstrations a bit difficult, to say the least. Cold weather? Well, I guess this is California. People aren't used to sub 70 degrees. Fucking pussies. Talk to me when it gets below zero here, bro. Come on. But I refuse to relent in our mission. Rain or shine, sleet or snow. I will not rest until I stop these abominations from undoing God's almighty work. Okay, you had me until that last line there, brother. Sorry, I, d I don't dig the religious slant here. Yikes. All right, well let's 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 turn the screws to this fucker now. What's shutting down clinics cost lives? That's a leading question. Is of it? Of course, some people have life-threatening afflictions. Yeah. And it's a good thing that science has evolved to treat all kinds of diseases. Okay. Your response to this is? Simply wanting cat ears and furry tails does not constitute a disease. A disease of the mind, perhaps. And you're the one that's being the gatekeeper as far as what constitutes a disease and not. I, I'm starting to dislike you, Brian. If the government strictly limits genetic Jeez. alteration surgeries to only life-threatening emergencies, well, that would be a start towards undoing the damage. Yeah, I don't like this guy. We are not God. We were made in his image, and his image did not include fur. Yeah, look, I'll respect any kind of religious beliefs that people hold, but this guy is not not doing it. Someone, so yeah, okay, this is this is a good question. Why is someone with genetic modifications less human? I feel it's rather simple. It's oh, really? In the name. Oh, how how do you figure? Modifying genes means we are changing the very DNA that makes us unique. 
Dude, we share like 98% of our DNA with gorillas or some garbage like that, right? We're giving doctors, among other people, with a severe lack of understanding of the human condition, the right uh -huh. to make us into entirely new species. Uh-huh. Wouldn't that make us more unique? We are the byproduct of tens of thousands of years of natural selection and evolution. And now these people want that progress to just be reduced to a formula? To be injected into your skin at your convenience? One, I'm pretty sure they inject it into your muscles or your bloodstream. Two, evolution and God kind of conflict here, Brody. Three, what's up with this do? What is up with that? That's, that can't be natural. And where the fuck are the things that hold your glasses to your face? They should be going over your ears. You got three things going against you, buddy. And why? To Bastard. fulfill some sick fantasy. We have VR dramas. Leave your imagination at home. What? This guy is not making much sense. Besides, why should we give these self-proclaimed animals the same rights as humans when they clearly don't want to be human? And why should we leave that to you, our self-proclaimed savior of the human race? How far back would you like humanity to go? That's a good ask. Question. That is the greatest misconception of our group. Oh, is it? Please, educate us. They would have you believe that we'd rather go back to the Dark Ages. Well, you're not really making a case otherwise. Oh, sure. The human revolution wants people to go back to washing clothes by hand down by the river, right? We'll all go back to playing with sticks, yes? Okay, what's your counterpoint here, bro? We do not advocate for a reversal of all technology. That would be ludicrous. Uh, okay, again, what's your counterpoint? We merely want severe limitations on genetic enhancements and a focus on medicinal practice beyond gene therapy. Wait, what? So you don't like gene therapy, but yet you want to go beyond it. That would include an outlawing of cosmetic gene therapy, yes. People parading around in fur and scales as proud abominations. All right, this dude has lost me entirely. We need the government to protect these patients from themselves. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, what? Protecting people from themselves. All right, Brian, you lost me entirely here. I'm sorry, you just, no, 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 no. What has your group accomplished? Yeah. Through some concerted efforts, we've created an alliance with a number of businesses banning service and employment of unhumans. Okay. All right. At this point, I'm just listening to him because it's something to listen to. I don't, I'm not with him at all anymore. Yeah, on the humans, exactly. Yeah, they exactly. call themselves hybrids, but we call them what they are. I can't respect those who willingly trade their humanity away. Yeah, okay, sure. Thanks to our efforts, many local businesses are finally gaining the confidence to only serve human beings. <sighs> if they wanted to feed animals, well, they'd open up a pound. Ooh. Oh, this is getting a little heavy. Why, just the other day, a Neo-SF landlord thanked me for supporting his decision to deny tenancy to unhumans. He already feels better about his decision to seek out our help. Yeah, huh. Plus, can you imagine the cleaning fees? Oh, boy. All right, well, it seems bigotry in the year of our Lord 2064 hasn't changed much either, has it? That's all I wanted to know. Great! Do tell me when you get the article out. I love to read the comments. Oh, oh, oh you love to read the comments. Okay, well, that tells me about me if I'm wrong, as much as I need to know. Net speak critically of your organization? Precisely, Turing, precisely. Oh, that's cute. 
the robot wants to join in the discussion now. Whoa. Okay, I admit to being down on Turing before, but holy shit. Dude. Yes, this is true. Though historically, most revolutionaries are unpopular when they're in the middle of the fight. Um, not exactly true. Not precisely true there, Brian. I sleep comfortably knowing that history will be on my side. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> yeah! All right, there's a response I can get behind. Not gonna lie, you haven't really convinced me. Ah, I suppose I have come to expect that. Yeah, well, fucking whatever, man. Never mind. Write what you wish. I will, thank you. When the city falls and we have a chicken as mayor, remember that all of you thought we were loonies. <laughs> okay, this dude's got a few screws loose. Let you know if I need anything oh, please else. Please do. Have a lovely day now. Jesus fuck this guy. I I was right not to trust him from the beginning, to be honest with you. And remember, I had a bad God feeling about him. You perfectly just the way you are. Oh dear. Oh dear. Look, I'll respect the right of everybody to believe in whatever deity they want, but this kind of garbage. This leads to some shit. This leads to some shit. Whatever. No judgment here. No judgment here. I guess we should go uh, tell whatever her her bot is busted. It. it already seems to be in a stormy mood. Ah, good good thought there, Turing. Jesus Christ. In her current political state, having a chicken in position of power doesn't sound bad at all. <laughs> As a resident of the current country that has a dumpster fire at the head of the nation. Yeah, I certainly agree. What? Ramona, I, I swear I didn't do anything. I, I wanted to, I, I told it to do a snowstorm for like two minutes and it's gone totally off the rails. I told you jerks not to break my ROM. I didn't now break I it. Stop snowing. Well, that's not my fucking problem. Jesus. That sounds like your problem for trusting us with the RFID credentials to the fucking weather, Rom. Those protesters are gone. Yeah. But I'm still not going to have any customers with it freezing like this. Well, well, you can sell more hot hassies or whatever the fuck they're called. This hassy hot cup is the perfect thing to warm See? me up. See? Fuck you, Ramona. I'm bringing you business. See? Fucking what I tell you. Don't doubt Mr. Bond. Remember the name. <laughs> Snow out of nowhere? I guess I'll wait it out in here. Let's see? Fucking yeah. I'm bringing you the business. Don't give me the business. I'll give you the business. <laughs> see? Fucking told you. See, look at how crowded it is! Wow! Business look is at it booming! So magical. Yeah, magical. That's what snow is when you don't have to fucking deal with it. Uh, See? Don't think I've forgiven you, you dingus. You see, oh, dingus. Oh, bringing out the big words. Oh, look out. Ramona's got something on her mind right there. Jesus. I better go get some hassy hot cups going. Yeah, no shit. You're welcome, by the way. Well, all's well that ends well, right? Gee, thanks, Turing. It's a very trite phrase to bring out. I'll check the mesh for common issues with the mode selector on the 6703 ROM unit and forward the solutions to the Hassy bar owner. How very reasonable of you, Turing. Although I would have pre preferred the phrase, suck it, Ramona. I'm certain she'll be able to get it turned off after the customer rush. Yeah, sure. Can I actually talk to these people? Oh my god, I can. Whoa, what's this fancy person? 
It's a named person, so it's got to be important, right? Let's look. Let's look at Dana. Hi there, teenager with a bionic arm. She seems to be staring at the nearby wrestlers as she waits to order. All right, let's talk to this person. Dana Zane. Dana Zane. Dana Zane. Ah, denizen, citizen, etc. Hasty hot cups are disgusting. I'm just here to see the wrestlers. Can't wait for the New Year's show. Fair enough, I guess. What else you got? Anything else for us? Grr. All I have here is energy drink. Where's the booze at? What kind of bar is this? Dana, all right. You I. You I. You I. What else you got? It's a Hassy bar. Well, don't fucking call it a bar if you ain't got no drinks. That's on you, Ramona. Fuck. But I, yeah, okay. <laughs> what else you got for us? What the heck is a Hassy anyway? It's such a massive craving for something else right now. Something else, you say, huh? Alright. Something else. What are you what are you talking about there, Dana? What else are you what else are you craving? One Adelhide, one Bronson, two Delta, three Flanner Guide, and five <coughs> The fuck? Uh, what what? the fuck is all that garbage? You just say whiskey, man! Just say whiskey! Or vodka! Or to a lesser extent, gin. Or tequila, or whatever. Rum. Rum would also work. What the fuck is all this garbage? Ah, kids these days. Miss good-ass shit. Alright, who else we got here? We got a wrestler. Howdy! How you can call me Cactus Canary! Okay. I won't call you that, but okay. What else you got? Anything? Our aerodynamic assault will rain down on you from the heavenly skies. But first, a hessy hot cup. <laughs> wait a minute. Just, just wait just a second. I know I'm stretching here. I know I'm stretching just a little bit. Cactus. Assault. All I'm missing is one word here. Just missing one word. Just missing one word. Also, you got, what else you got for us, Cactus Canary? One day, I'll conquer everyone else in the Neo SF Wrestling Federation and become the NSFW World Heavyweight Championship! Neo <laughs> SFW. <laughs> uh, champion. I meant champion. Until then, I'm a violent wing for life! And... A Hessy hot cup fan for life too. Ugh. Isn't that energy drink like hot energy drink and ramen? That's dis fucking disgusting. Why? I, I don't pass judgment on much, but that seems dumb and disgusting. Goodness. All right, what else you got for us? Anything? Our aerodynamic assault will rain down on you from the heavenly skies. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. First, all right. All right. A Hessy hot cup. Ugh. Oh, uh, looks like, uh, what is it, break? Broke? From, uh, Stardust, right? I usually yeah, hang broke. out at Stardust. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They don't serve food, so I come here for Hassy Hot Cups during the day. Ew. So you subsist purely on energy drink, cooked ramen, and booze. Like, the second half of that I can get down with, but the ramen, no, no, no thank you. Especially cooked with the energy drink. Ugh, oh, 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 oh. Ugh. Won't cast judgment on much, but that shit is just. The Hassy ugh. Bar owner has cybernetics. Those that do usually get along with hybrids better. Okay. I guess I can see that, but still, man. Still. <laughs> hey, I've eaten my share of ramen, my my dude, but I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go for it long term. Especially not with energy drink. Holy shit. No. I've done my share of mixing energy drink with unpleasant things, but I certainly wouldn't do ramen with it. Ugh. What else you got for us, Broke? I just got back from Europe. They have a long hassy. Is that a play on Long Island iced tea? Because those things are delicious, but long hassy sounds like a bad idea. 
What else you got? I wish I could invent my own Hassie. I can picture it now. Hassie Blue Stinger. Ugh. That sounds like it's just energy drink and blue UV. Ugh. <laughs> Yuck. It's got that first generation taste. Oh yeah, uh, sure. What else you got for us? Remember sitting around the fire on Christmas night, drinking Hassy with the family. Oh, really? I do remember getting drunk with my family, too, so I guess we got that going for us. What else you got? Grandpa loved his Hassy. I loved Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. You know what we call a bad Hassy? A myth. Wow. You want to be any more fucking corporate sponsorship broke? Please. Please go on. Go on. I wish I could buy a lifetime supply of Hassy drink. Jesus fuck. All right, this dude. The taste of success is a Hassy. Ah! All right. What else you got, man? What is going man, on? I love this Hassy. Yeah, you sure do. If his next word isn't Hassy, I'm going to be fucking disappointed. What else you got? Gotcha. Hassy. <laughs> Damn it. I was off by one word. What else you got? Hassy is always the Yeah, best. there we go. Good fucking God. Hassy. <laughs> there we go. All right. What else you got, motherfucker? Anything? I usually hang out at Stardust. Okay, oh, all right, them. we have the loop. Here the loop here. Who is this? Hey there. Hi. I go by Night Witch. Night Witch, huh? Pleasure. I'm sure. My name has some pretty cool history behind it. Does it? We're some badass ladies who'll bomb hellfire on anyone. Okay, go on. Go on. You should come to our New Year's show. NSFW New Year Smash! There's nothing better than seeing one of our patented bombs away finishers in person. Well, if it's NSFW, I might be convinced. We're gonna win back those NSFW Never Wait Five Person <laughs> Synchro titles from the Future Foundry. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is a little on the nose. Five person Cinco's titles. Okay, okay. All right. Never wait. All right. All right. Oh my god. The shade on professional wrestling is unreal. And I love it because it's super good. Thanks for being a fan of the Violent Wing. Yeah. Fan. We'll go with that. What else you got? My name has some pretty cool history. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. A film assistant. Oh boy. I was actually in charge of content. I would make sure we did a big store in these new Hassy Hot Cups. Oh, God, why? No, please. Like, I know it's opinion and all, but objectively, it seems like energy drink and ramen should not never, ever, ever go together. Please. Speaking of NSFW... <laughs> You ever seen those naked lube fights? No, me neither. Yeah, it's... No, I, I can't say that I have. <laughs> I honestly cannot say that I have. To be honest with you. Alright, look at the film assist. TMI Entertainment. Yeah, it, TMI Entertainment, huh? A little fucking on the nose. Ugh. What else you got? What am I saying? TMI does stories in Hassan nearly every day. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, corporate sponsorship. That's real good. I think our news rom loves Hassy more than I do. Well, roms can't drink anything. It's actually in charge. Yeah, okay, all right, all right, we're done there. All right, let's talk. Let's talk to the nice rom, I guess. You go for another with the sassy Hassy. What else we got? How about a Hassy? Not sure I dig the fucking corporate influence here. Maybe a vanilla Hassy? By a grassy hassy shot. Oh god, that sounds disgusting. Look, all right, all right, all right, all right. Full disclosure here. 
I have an energy drink and every now and again. I, I drink Monster every now and again. And it's not... It's not delicious. It's not great. But it does the job. Alright? Let's 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 be honest here. Classy Hassy. Half and Hassy. Oh my god. Alright, let's keep going. We're getting you some unique shit here. Hassy hot. No! No! Why? No, yuck. Super large Hassy. No. Please. Please. Why? Crystal Hassy. Yuck. Hassy hot. And I got a Chivo for that. For whatever. Neo Hassy. Let's talk to Dana again. Hassy hot cups are disgusting. Exactly. Yeah, see? Yeah, alright. Ugh. God, why was saving you over here? <laughs> alright, this thing. We need to stop it. One of the most expensive ROMs made and it certainly has a security system, so heads off. But I got the thing. Oh, fucking whatever. It's fine. Alright. Oh, there are the punks! <laughs> Come on, why don't they just call him Chad? Why do they have to call him Starfucker? That's. That's dumb. Let's talk to Oliver instead. Let's talk to Oliver. Oh, crap! It's that reporter in the bot again. Jesus! Jeez it, Ollie! Yeah, cheese it, Ollie. Jesus, you call yourself Starfucker and then you go with some low level garbage, right? <laughs> Even ad block. Hey, you know, in all fairness, uh, Omega Weapon, I have my ad block turned on full, too. You know? Hold on a moment. We're not here to cause any trouble here, Starfucker. I mean, Chad. We just want to talk for a sec, alright? You know any good, like, counterfeit passport places we're just here to ask the two of you for a favor you don't need to run again <laughs> <laughs> i knew you didn't have the guts to mess with me starf oh my god chad really when your name is chad and your fucking go-to alias is starfucker you really have nothing you got nothing kid trust me <laughs> Lol, of course Turing wouldn't get it. And why would we want to help you? You wouldn't. I mean, honestly, you wouldn't. We did trash that apartment, Chad. <laughs> See? Oliver gets it. He's not calling him Starfucker. Alright. Yeah? So? We also didn't report you to the police for it. Ding, 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 ding. Turing's got it. Yeah? So? So we could still fucking do that, you asshole. And they still could. Yeah! Oliver gets it. See, he's up on this shit. By the way, you want to fix your glasses? It's not hanging off your... You know what? Never mind. It's not noticeable. Jesus. Oh. All right, well, spill it then. I ain't got all day. Yeah, you're just standing under a fucking Muni bus stop thing to get out of the snow. Can't you see me and Oliver are busy? <laughs> yeah, you sure look busy. We need some assistance with some illicit activity that, statistically, individuals in your age bracket are likely to have experience with. <laughs> Turing, we're not looking for we're not looking for some weed here. I don't think statistically any random ass teenager can get us some fake passports. Oh! So this is one of those things where you need a streetwise kid to show you the ropes. Starfucker, if that was the case, we'd be asking Oliver for this shit. Honestly. As nervous as he is, he probably has a lot more going on than you do. So, what's the thread? Whatever. B and E? War driving? Copyright infringement? <laughs> bombing? <laughs> Starfucker, those last two I can take care of on my own, thank you. Copyright infringement in search. Ah, from the mouths of babes in the year of our Lord 2064. Is search bombing actually illegal? Probably not, to be honest with you. It's against the terms of service, so probably. Whoa. At least in California. Whoa, it's against the terms of service. Oh no. <laughs> you're really some real are you some real hard asses going against the terms of service. Holy shit. 
Jesus, fuck. Uh, he needs to buy some fake IDs, I guess, to be possible. Nothing, if you can pay. Well, that depends. I mean, we could still report you to the cops, so I'll consider that our payment. Only can whip up a couple that'll work good enough to get you past a bouncer or a cop doing sniff tests. Well, we probably need something a little bit, a little bit stronger than that. To be honest with you, passports. He's a wizard with a printer and a lifted wallet. Something to get uh, past ICE, if you know what I'm saying. It's more complicated than that. Exactly. See. <laughs> <laughs> TOS. Whoa. Oh my god, TOS is so dumb. It's really dumb, to be honest with you. More complicated. Yeah, yeah. Need falsified <laughs> passports that can get two people past the border safely. Yeah, exactly, right? I mean, I'll cast as much shade against ICE as I want to, but that's probably some pretty severe shit. Oh, yeah. I don't think Ollie can do that. Can you? No, probably not. I wouldn't put that on a teenager. I mean, come on. Not without equipment a lot more expensive and illegal than what I already have. Whoa, that implies you have some illegal equipment to begin with, Holly. What about that guy who got a lease that unrestricted mesh card when she was on probation? Lease, huh? We got a name. That's not really the same thing, Chad. I told you, I'm Starfucker but it wouldn't hurt to give him a call. Okay, all right. Oliver, dude, you gotta get that, you gotta put, like, that's how glasses work. You get, get the thing over the both the ears. You know, fucking whatever, it's fine. Give me a few minutes. This guy is pretty sketchy, very cloak and dagger. I'll have to play middleman. Yeah, I'm sure that's your wet dream there, Ollie. Excellent, I'll forward you the relevant documents and photos. No, what, Turing. What did we talk about with playing things a little bit closer to the chest? God, robots nowadays, right? Oh man, now I'm starting to feel left out. Well, all he gets to show off all his cool connections. Dude, take care of that pyramid hair and then maybe we'll talk, all right? You sure you don't need someone's head kicked in a little? That's my area of expertise in our little duo. Yeah, you look like you you could really fucking give somebody a Charlie horse or something. Fucking Chad. Well, that and petty larceny. Whoa, whoa, yeah. If we need twenty bucks, I know who to contact. Or twenty we credits, I guess. Something that will suit your skill set. Really, Turing? What? This bitch ain't gonna get us hundred thousand credits. Let's just get the passports first. If you can stay calm for that long. <laughs> you sure yap a lot more than any of the ROMs I've ever owned. What's the deal? Owned, huh? Starfucker, you own a ROM, huh? I'm not saying I don't believe you. But I don't believe you. You install some new conversation routines Ollie ain't had the chance to nerd out about yet? Listen, Starfucker, you really don't want to know. Let's just leave it at that, please. Well, they're top notch. Very bleeding edge. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, 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 you act in the tough guy routine real nice there, Starfucker. I mean, Chad. I don't run traditional ROM VI personality software. <laughs> nice way to be smug about it, Turing. I am, in fact, the first fully sapient machine intelligence. You... Self, at least that I know about. You probably shouldn't be spreading that around. Which means what exactly? Yeah, in exactly. English. It means he's a person, Chad, not a toy. Now keep it down. I'm still on the phone. They sure look like it there, Oliver. Oops. And yes, what he said. Well, that's awesome. You ain't so bad for a tin can. Hey, Starfucker, lay off a Turing. Only I could do that, all right? Tin can? Really? Yeah, that's dated by about like 50 years. <laughs> I'm composed almost entirely out of plasteel and silica. For fuck's sake, Tur oh, Turing, you're not helping your cause here. Please. Has no one come up with better insults for robots since the turn of the century? 
See what I see what I have to deal with here, Turing. Humans ain't smart. Humans ain't smart. Roms have been out for almost two decades. Um, uh, yeah, that's a good point. Wow, Starfucker actually takes it good. Give me a sec. I'm pretty good at name calling too. Like what? <laughs> How old is this guy? Even when I was like 13 or whatever, I wasn't this goddamn stupid. Oh no, I'm sorry I brought it up. Yeah, this is your fucking robots, am I right? Just hold on a second. No, just- Underclocked? Oh, bit brain. Yeah, yeah, you, you got it. Don't hurt yourself, Chad. <laughs> Oh, Turing with the shade on a teenager. I love it. I love I'll it. I'll get back to you, Bubblehead. Yeah, there you. Yeah, that's real nice too. I guess. Okay, I talked to the guy. <laughs> yeah, underclocked wasn't that bad, but still, I mean, it's not the greatest. He said he'll do it, but he only works in trade. Okay, so what the fuck does he want then, Oliver? A couple of passports are gonna run us. Yeah. One signed poster for Magical Commander Yukino? Yukino at the Gates to the Deep? The fuck? That's one hell of a fucking nerd if I ever heard one. Of <laughs> course. It's always that Japanese crap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Starfucker, you alright. You alright. It's not my fault they make the best VR dramas. Uh, what? Uh, the f uh, the future isn't much different from the present, is it? Maybe you can do better. Christ. Probably. Yeah. All right. What do you got, Starfucker? Lay it on us. Anyway, where can we get a poster like that? Gee, I fucking wonder, Turing. I'm not sure. Probably nearby. <laughs> I've done switches with this guy before. Yeah? If he never asks for something that'll take too long to get. Well, then he's asking for too little, to be honest with you. My guess is he's a local that uses people like us as a way to nab something he's had his eye on. AKA he's too fucking cowardly to go for what he actually wants? We'll help you look for it. Oh, really? <laughs> what? Party? We don't have a fucking party. This is a party of fucking two. Mr. Bond and Turing. And occasionally Tomcat. And maybe Jess if she's into it. But Jesus fuck, what is this? Ugh, Christ. Well, you know, the moist thing I know is the, at the Hassy Bar, right? Oh! There what? What? There what is? I knew I saw a poster for Magical Commander Yukino somewhere around here. Magical Commander Yukino. You know, that's not too far off, like, present day 2017 garbage. Jesus Christ. I should have remembered Ramona had one. Yeah, gee, she's a, a total fucking anime nerd. Of course you should have remembered. You know this lady? Of course we do. She's got a fucking cyber arm. How do you not know her, Starfucker, you idiot? Sure. We talk sometimes when I'm getting our drinks. Ball. You're usually too busy provoking people to notice. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver with the shade. Fucking points, brah. Fucking points. You call it provoking. I call it spontaneous enthusiasm for healthy rivalry. Ugh, this guy. There's a bit of a line. We'll have to wait a few minutes before we can talk to her. Really? I'm pretty sure we could just talk to her directly because my mouse cursor doesn't respect no line. We could just do a smash and grab. Simple and effective. Yeah, Starfucker, you're a bit out of your league here. We can't do that. She knows who we are. Us too. Lol. This is the most boring felony I've ever been an accessory to. Smash and grab it.
All right, listen up, Starfucker. I mean, Chad, whatever your name is. Smash and grab isn't a felony. I know you're you're excited to lose your voting rights and ability to own firearms, but smash and grab is not a felony. Look, we'll just stand in line. Like a bunch of clumps? Er, chumps? Yeah, there we go. He's got it, finally. Starfucker, I always believed in you. Not really. What but, is you know, the big that picture good. anyway, Blue Bomber? Blue... Blue Bomber? Starfucker, why are you invoking Mega Man? The fuck is up I'm with this? I'm not sure it's wise to spread it around, Chad. Okay, are... Blue Bomber, really? Uh, that's too cool for Turing, to be honest with you. For either of us. The yeah. less you know, the less reason anyone has to bother you. Yeah, precisely, right? Screw that, Static. I'm not heading to Juvie not knowing what for. This guy's an idiot. <laughs> this guy spill is a beans, straight up fucking or I'll idiot. Spill them for you. Wow, yeah, big ass tough guy. Oh, look it up for this guy. Your persistence is already legendary, Chad. Oh, lol. Nice. Fine. Turing, we talked about this. You gotta stop with the flappy gums, all right? Shit. If you really must know, we are going to trade the passports for some information regarding the disappearance of my creator. That's not something to be spreading around, Turing. His apartment was the one you trashed. Lol. Oh shit, that Hayden dude is your dad? <laughs> and they snatched him? Oh, that's so messed up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright. Well, dad, after a fashion, he raised me. Ugh. Man, I hope you find the dudes that took him. I hope he's okay. <sighs> Uh, you know what? The, the less said about that, the better at this point. It seems very unlikely. Oof. Oh, man. I don't know what to say, you know? I can think of a few things. Huh? I mean, I still have my dad, but he's... Huh? Chad? Huh? He's never really been around. Too busy trying to save the world from itself. <laughs> Lost cause, my friend. Even now, he's over there standing in front of that damn clinic. Um, what? You're telling me Brian fucking stick up his ass is your dad? Oh, for fuck's sake. That's like it makes kind of a bit of a sense. And it? I thought I could find a way to make him... Proud? Whatever. <laughs> yeah, we know what you mean there, Starfucker. Fucking hell. I might as well nuke that drive. Not a great expression, but I get what you're saying. It ain't gonna sink. <laughs> ah! Even when I was a teen, I never went into this deep garbage like this. This is dumb. Please, please don't, Chad. Please. Christ. I, think I understand what you mean, Chad. Well, I'm glad one of us does. Fuck. Hell yeah, dudes gotta stick together, you know. Ye yeah. 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 Sure. 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 Sure thing, Starfucker. Sure. Dudes. Ah, is Turing just, just fucking don't, all right? Just don't. Don't matter if you're a robot or what. We all got the same shit to deal with. Yeah, okay. Gotta grab destiny by the horns and make your own mark. Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> Oh, that's harsh. That's true. This is probably the smarter answer. Hey, 
Won't fault you on good taste, but watch that whole babe thing. Hey, just... Oh boy. Oh boy. It's not whatever, starfucker, whatever, you know. I'm taken, and I don't need no game being spit my way. Yeah. Clearly. That's not never mind. Yeah, okay. Turing very smart. Smart, smart, smart. Okay. Wow, it's fucking empty ass the in here. The line has finally cleared up. Let's go talk to Ramona. Yeah, sorry about the weather, Rom. But then again, I want that poster. Hey, Ali. Whoa, first name basis with Ramona. Ah. Salutations, Ramona. Wow, okay, let's nerd it up a little bit more there, Oliver. Thank you. What can I do for you all? Uh, how about that, this poster here? Ahem. If she calls him Starfucker. Oh, this is my friend, Chad. Yes, thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah? Yeah, you too. Uh, somewhat reasonable, all right. We were hoping you might be able to give us your assistance, Ms. Rogers. Wait, what? She never told us her last name. Turing, you doing that creepy Facebook stalker shit we talked about before? Please don't do that. We want to make a trade for that magical Commander Yukino poster over there. It's necessary for us to get some pretty important information. Yeah, all right. Oliver speaks the truth. No way. Not happening. Nuh-uh. Yukino is off limits. Whoa. He's got all serious all of a sudden. I guess we're not doing it, huh? Uh, we can invoke the smash and grab if we want to. It's literally a matter of life and death. How does life and death depend on a nerdy poster? Honey, you don't want to know. Trust us on this, okay? Please. Look, I don't even care. That poster was signed by Takeko herself. It's one of a kind, and I'm not giving it up. Really? Well... We've got some other options. I'd rather not drag you any further into this than necessary, but I promise that we're not overstating it. Unfortunately, Turing is right about this one. This is a dire situation, and people have already died. Oof. Yikes. Jeez. Look, whatever you're doing sounds sketch as hell. <laughs> I and Magical Commander Yakino herself want no part in it. I don't even see how the poster can help. It's probably best that you don't know, but... Man, you nerds sure do love your cheap crap from the net. <laughs> Starfucker, you have no idea. Cheap crap? Ah! How have you know that poster is worth hundreds of credits? Whoa! Maybe more! Hundreds of credits! Oh no! I think my rent is what? 1700 credits ago. or some garbage? So there aren't any more of them getting signed. Yeah, but you can photocopy a signature. It's special. Sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Chad, Chad, you're not you're not helping us here. To be honest with you. He doesn't get it. He's not in the fandom. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. Thankfully. Uh, Starfucker, that's uh, something we can agree upon. It is. We can get you another. It'll only take a few days. It's not just a poster. That's not what I, that's not what I said, but okay. It was a gift from someone. Oh, really? Someone I care about, okay? Besides, you can't get another one. Takeko passed away a few years ago. Yeah, we got that already. Thank you. Perhaps there's something else that would make a suitable trade? You aren't hearing me, are you? Yeah, Ramona, Turing doesn't really listen. I tried. Just don't. Just don't. It has. 
past sentimental value. You can't replace that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Look, you'll just have to order something off the mesh because you can't have this one. Oh, we don't have time. This lead will dry up by then. Keep me out of this. You know, I don't want to go like straight up smash and grab. So this, this isn't a joke. Okay, enough. How about this for a trade? Yeah, Oliver, what you got? What you got? What you got for us? What you holding out on? I have an original keyframe cell from Pretty Champion Sailor Sirius, signed by Takeko at home. I want to say I'm surprised, but I'm really not. Whoa! You have a signed Sailor Sirius cell? That's super rare! They stopped doing keyframes by hand right around the time of her death. So, 2061? Seems awfully far in the future to stop doing keyframes by hand. Be you, with you can't be serious, Ollie! You have that thing framed on your wall! Anyone shut up about it for a week after you got it! Hey. Dude knows what he likes, and if it brings him joy, fuck you, Starfucker, for bragging on him for it. This is important, Chad. Yeah, see? Oliver knows what's up. You can't say you wouldn't do the same thing if someone had your dad. Think about Turing. Alright. Oliver, you I. You I. You I. I can't ask Ramona to give up something important to her if I'm not willing to do the same. Maybe. Yeah, it's getting pretty heavy, isn't it, Starfucker? Look, okay, I don't know what's going on, but you can't give me that cell for the poster. But we need... Yeah, yeah, you'll get the poster. Whatever you're doing, it must be really important if you'd be willing to give that up. Whoa, Ramona coming through in the clutch here. Do you have something more equal to trade, Ali? A couple of things, maybe. Jesus, sorry. These nerds are getting it on right here. We'll talk about it then. Maybe you can find me another one, too. Go ahead and take the poster. Nerd currency is weird. Fucking weird. Oh, wait, what? That, that was the poster? I thought it was this fucking one right here. Thank you, Ramona. All right. Fucking whatever, I guess, yes. right? Yes! I can't tell you how much it means to us, Ms. Rogers. <sighs> this is getting weird. Sure, sure. And, uh, you think I could see that cell sometime, Ollie? <laughs> oh, Ollie getting his Mac on. All right. I of course. See. We'll I bring it over when we talk about the trade. I see what's going on here. All right. All right. You all so cool. Can't fault the guy for trying. All right. Cannot fault. All right. Well, it's getting super late. I am super tired, but I'm really happy to be playing this still. So let's have a save and we'll wrap it up for tonight. Fucking nerds. Nerd. Oh, actually, no, that actually works. Fucking nerds. <laughs> you know, I can't cast any shade about that. I'm a nerd, too, so whatever. It's fucking fine. Oh, boy. All right. Jesus. This is a good game. I really like it. It's super chill and it's really fun arguing with people on screen, so whatever. I ain't got nothing bad to say about it. Next stream will be Monday night, 7 p.m. CDT. I think we got a full week plus with this, to be honest with you. I've heard tell that there's at least five chapters of this and we are probably maybe about halfway through chapter three. So we about half sees through this entire thing. Who knows? But until then, we got normal speedrun practice on Sunday night, 7 p.m. CDT, Assault Android Cactus, of course. But then we'll be back to this on Monday night. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.